You know, no comments on the Roy Keane thing. Bit of a surprise to me. I thought, I, you know, I, I, I thought people would be like, wow, why is Zealand looking so devilishly handsome? There were a few. Okay, fine. There were a few. My bad. It's Keen staring. It's Kate. No, no camera. Yeah, we're doing a no face cam stream today. I have, however, created an AI that replicates how I talk and everything. Tyski, thank you for the year. That's okay. Let's see if I can figure out what the buttons are on this home setup here. Hold on. That's a good one. Hope we hear a lot of that one today. Thanks for the raid, dude. Of course. Thank you so much for uh, for having a good time, <laughs> having a good time with it. Thanks for existing, dude. Thanks for coming in here and say thank you. Honestly, I uh, Zealand's handsome. I do, I I do what I can with what I have. You know. Okay, that's there. That's there. Okay, didn't know he had that in the pocket. Interesting. Fascinating. Okay. <laughs> Everything else is the same. We just don't have the anime wow, apparently. We don't have that. Stevie God, thank you so much for the tier one. No ears. No, I'm sorry, dude. It was yesterday. I didn't even try an April Fool's, you guys, with like a my last stream ever. Uh, oh. That, okay, so that's real voice reveal. I finally get to reveal my actual voice, which is good. Um... Didn't know that's what that button did. I'm very sorry. Uh, okay. Okay. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, so I have... I didn't even know this was on this board. We are going to have so much fun today, first of all. Uh, well, that's just the same thing the other one was. That's two separate buttons. And that's... Oh, okay. That's a stadium announcer. All righty. That is... Okay, fine. Total, I don't know what use that would have, but that's good to know that that's there. Okay. I mean, how many weird, low... Like, am I every Star Wars character? I don't even... Uh, okay, oh, what, what, what is this? That button doesn't even... That button... This button doesn't do anything. Okay, that button does something. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So this is... This is nice. I like that one. We need some auto tune. I'm always, I'm always auto tuned. I'm using face tune as well. Uh, Klaza, thank you for the 28 months, dude. Thank you for supporting the stream. I appreciate you. Simano tool, thank you for the prime. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes. Enjoy your lack of ads. Welcome to an elite online gaming <gasps> community. Oh yeah, you didn't see me go into the to to whatever the robot voice was for that. Unclinet, thank you for the four months. Henry, thank you so much for the three months. Duck, thank you for the prime. Thunder, thank you for the tier one. Zhenkovsky, thank you for the twenty seven months. Congrats to your third Twitch child. Hello, Tampa. Oh yeah, Rich Steel, thank you for the eighteen months. I hope you guys had a great holiday weekend wherever you are. Whatever you're doing, I hope it was fantastic. Uh, we've got a lot of matches to play today with old Topspur, Tottenham Hotspur, and so on and so forth. Hey, Jada, thank you so much for the three months. I appreciate you supporting the stream, dude. I'm not with the bunny ears. Yeah. Uh, Zealandism got hit with a, with a copyright thing for the first time, which I don't blame them. I mean, it is their copyright. We, I just happened to play it full screen, and they were like, ah, ah. They got me. Riley, thank you for the 29 months. Yeah. What voice are we using to celebrate? Wait, hell yeah, girl. Get it. That's what I'm talking about. You know, I said, I, I told Ashley the other day. I was like, girl, Riley's going to resub on Monday. It's going to be.
Yeah, that's a terrible time for the stream to freeze, honestly. That was good. Thank you. That's not even a filter. That's just like, I can actually do that. Don't mean to alarm you. Do the entire, I should just do the entire stream with that voice and say nothing. Yeah, that wouldn't be fun. I don't know. I don't know if that would be fun. I definitely will use that now that I know that it's here, now that we've gone through all of our options. Young t Tal, thank you for the two months. Hey, Z, how are you? I'm great. Hanging out with family all weekend. I'm home all week. So we're going to be at the home setup for the Zealandisms, for the streams all week long. It's going to be a good time. Midwest Kane, thank you for the 19 months. I appreciate it. I'd love to hear you screaming at your players in that voice. We might. We'll get there. I feel like it would be a very good form of intimidation. We'd get exactly what we desired out of the players going. Uh, it'd be perfect. Your sweater poking out of your shirt. Yeah, you know, you got to stay warm, dude. You got to stay warm. You know, it's not warm enough in Florida, so you got to make sure that you, uh, you got to make sure that you stay warm there. First time in the stream, longtime YouTube follower. How's it going? It's going great. I, uh, yeah, we, we finally got the stream going. Had to download a few things. Uh, obviously since the last time I was, uh, here, I'm probably going to want to reload since I have like caching on and stuff. Probably going to want to reload the skin. Uh, good thing. Nothing happened this past weekend though. And I mean that literally like huge shout out to Manchester city and Arsenal for somehow managing to make that game pretty boring. I didn't think it was as boring as a lot of people said that it was, you know, but like it was, uh, that game was. That game kind of sucked, though. That game kind of sucked. Like, even the Liverpool-Brighton game earlier in the day was great. March Madness has been a lot of fun. Oh, shoot, dude. We got to check the March Madness pool real quick. But yeah, it just wasn't entertaining. Yeah. Well, look, I think I um I, think I said this on a Zealandism yesterday, but the matches like that happen so often. You know, like, mat matches like that happen so often. World's Smallest Violin, thank you for the 22 months. <laughs> Naberto, thank you for the 34 months. Or about the claustrophobic astronaut, he just needed a little space. Nice. You guys hearing that? I'm not hearing that. I, uh, yeah, you guys are hearing that. Okay. Villa Bessie, thank you so much for the six months, dude. I appreciate it. Subs even binge on the live channel and having a blast, Jims. That's freaking awesome. Thank you so much for the four months. So what if I don't know what Armageddon means? It's not the end of the world. Naberto, I have some terrible news for you. Uh, in World's Smallest Violin, you're about the claustrophobic astronaut. You just need a little space. That's a good one. That's a B plus. The uh, Armageddon thing, also a B plus. I actually liked both of those. I'm giving them full credit. I'm not hearing TTS. Oh, really? You're not hearing the t -t 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 You should be. I know that's uh, not any consolation for you, but you should be. Well, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. There's no TTS on this page. There's no TTS. When we're on this page, there's no TTS. But you hear, do you hear the notification for the, the sub? Lee, thank you for the five months. No, you don't. Okay. Give me a sec. Negative? Well, that's no fun. I think that might just be broken then today. Because it's set up the right way. Monitoring devices, chat. Okay, I just reset it. Yeah, hopefully, it's going to be all fine. Hopefully. It's definitely being recorded. I can see it. I don't know why you wouldn't be able to hear it. Um, Now you'll definitely be able to hear it. You might even get it with an echo. It's going to be freaking electric. You can't. You're, 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 you're so excited. But thank you, guys. Thank you to, to Lee for the five months. And uh, Hori Yoro, what do you, would, you, would you have biggest W? Of your Tottenham era is Dan deeming that the club is at the pinnacle of its worth and wanting to sell it. Yeah, maybe. Except he didn't. He just wanted to. He just wanted to bait me. 
He wanted to make me believe it was possible when it wasn't. Jim, thank you so much for the five months as well. Thank you for supporting the stream, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Can Mombot please read out subs instead? Yeah, all over that. All over that. Hold on. I already have an account. Yeah, I know I already have an account. That's like I thought I was logging in for. Okay. Um. All right, I did say we were going to check the uh, my uh, my groups. All right, Hammers Hoops. All right, you guys ready? After another weekend of March Madness, your current leader is Jed Linux. Jed Linux, who has a U has UConn winning. Jed Linux is killing it. Mombot is out. Even though Mombot's bracket is literally in sixth place, which is crazy. Shout out to Mombot for being in sixth out of all. Well, it, it, our group is 144 people. 144 of y'all filled out brackets for March Madness. Jed Linux, Christian Baum, Daniel Walder, Finn Day, Connor Sheehan, Mombot. Derek Halpin, Alex Machini, Josh Osborne, and then a big old tie between Jace Hall, Daniel Wadham, William Parks, Leor Levy, and Richard O'Neill. But a big I'm in 95th, in case you were wondering, out of 144. I'm that good. Ocean Williams, thank you for the 31 months, dude. Yeah, I'm not no, I am in the bottom half. Uh you guys are absolutely killing it. Now, if UConn wins. We got to figure out who can actually win the dang thing. Okay, real quick. I got to do a little math here. So this person has... No. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, just... Who do they have in the final? They have, They picked NC State. Is that what I'm seeing, right? They picked NC State. So they had NC State and UConn. They've got you. They could actually pick the championship game completely right. They picked in. So it says they picked NC State to beat Tennessee here and UConn to beat UNC. So if UConn and NC State win, they actually pick the championship game correctly, which is insane. So that would win them the whole tournament. That, that would win Finney the entire tournament. Now, we also have Bombtastic, whose max potential is 1490. Let's see what Bombtastic picked. Purdue and UConn. So they didn't pick NC State right. They picked Purdue and UConn. So if the championship game is Purdue versus UConn and Purdue wins, then... Then it's Bombtastic that's going to win the entire pool. Now, the current leader only has the like only has one of the final four teams. So I think I think they can't win because if NC State plays UConn, then that other person's going to win, and if Purdue plays UConn, then that other person's going to win. So even though. Jed Lennox is in first place in 99.5th, like 99 and a half percentile. I don't actually think they can win. I think it's literally Bombtastic or Finney, depending on whether Purdue or NC State wins in the final four. Have I, have I got that right? Gadget, thank you for the $5 donation. You guys are hearing it now, right? You guys are hearing the notification thing? Because I am not. But as long as you guys are. Escurza, thank you for the four months. No? How? I literally see it on the audio thing. Insane. So riddle me this, OBS. How can I watch the audio bar move that you guys can that you guys can hear? Right? That's what determines what you can hear, and you just can't hear it. My, how does that make any sense? Hello, boss. I've had enough of hiding your secrets. I don't know you need Manchester City and think Harry Kane is the goat. I also heard you fully... Music, yes, subs and donos, no. Yeah, I know, that's... That's one of the trickier parts for some reason. April Fool's. 
Have you laughing? So the music is not being routed through anything else. That is settled. We know that. All right, so what's desktop one then? Here, I'll figure it out real quick. Chat. Speakers chat. Okay, yeah, I know. It should be exactly what it's supposed to be. It's routed to exactly what it's supposed to be routed to, and it's just not working. Don't you just hate it when that happens, man? I have the music, but it's very quiet. <laughs> Is that good? Was that satisfying? Are you satisfied? Are you happy now? No, it's supposed to be quiet. It's supposed to be there, but quiet. About a minus 40 on that. Hanging a minus 40. So congratulations to either Christian Bomb or Finn Day. You're going to win. Who's last? Last should already be settled. An absolutely epic performance from Eric Janssen. Of the 138 people that joined the pool and filled it out, because six of you joined the pool and didn't fill it out, Eric Janssen scored just 210 points and is finishing in dead last place, managing to pick almost everything spectacularly wrong. And they were not trying to do that. Although, granted, they did, I believe, pick Longwood... In, uh, they picked Longwood to win the national title, which was a bit bold considering Longwood lost by 40 in the opening game. That was a bit of a bold prediction, uh, but I don't believe they were trying to throw because they do still have UConn going. No, they don't. Never mind. They had Moorhead State taking that point, but they did pick UConn to win the first round, and they did pick um, Long Beach State to play against Moorhead State in the final four. What a map. That would have. This, this tournament would have been great. If they were king of the universe. Matt Maxi, thank you for the 32 months. Ninja Panda, thank you for the 47 months. You're about the Italian chef that died. Sadly, he passed away. You can only live so long. Cannoli. Kevru, thank you for the prime. Thank you so much for supporting the stream. Enjoy your lack of ads. Thank you. We're spending five dollars of Jeff Bezos's money, dude. Big ups though to the to to Janssen here. You have finished last. There is no way for you to finish anywhere other than last. You only you collected 150 first round. You you did not pick any of the Sweet 16 correctly. That is hard to do. Darn impressive. As Zealand's part Italian, that joke might have been a hate crime. No, I love cannolis, dude. Bring them up anytime you want. Bring them up anytime you want. Can you imagine if it was Longwood against Moorhead State in the national title game, though? That would be sick. That would be absolutely fantastic. Here's the other thing. So, which? how many of you knew... About how many of you heard the Shabby Alonso news this weekend? And most importantly, can any of you explain to me why? Anybody with a with a compelling argument as to why? Me because I watch Zealandism? Good. Good. As you should. Zealandism's kind of taken off, actually, recently. It's been, a, it's been a lot of fun. Alonso's crazy loyal. I think I'm the only person that thought he might do this. So he can go to Real Madrid next year. I mean, that's my theory. And if you watch Zealandism, you know that. That Xabi Alonso's done that because he's got a release clause that kicks in at the end of next season, and then he can just go to, he can just go to Real Madrid. And that sounds like something that, you know, Don Florentino Perez would have all of his fingies all over, you know? I fell off though. Yeah, dude. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm always in a perpetual state of felling off, like felling, not even falling, felling. It's a faster version of, of falling. That other car guy. Thank you for the gifted sub to cap, dude. Thank you for supporting the stream with kindness. Midwest Kane with the gifted sub. 
Thank you for supporting the stream with kindness. He has a great team at his disposal. He can also show he's not a one-season wonder. True, but you're also rolling the dice, call me Abdi, by trying to prove you're not a one-season wonder. The dude is on an unbeaten season with seven domestic matches left. He's on the run for a treble, right? The DFB Pokal, he's the only top-flight team left in the German Cup. <laughs> there is no other top-flight team left in the German Cup in the semifinal, which, love that for the German Cup. And then you've got, you know, Europa League as well. Uh, Zealand, you have a good range of vocab. What's your major in? I majored in history and media studies. I get a double major. I minored in your mom. What did I just switch to? I didn't even know what screen I just switched to. Okay, I was trying to do that. Oh, oh, now we're okay. All right. Yep. Yep. We get that. Got him. Got him. Got him. Lol W. That was part of my excellent vocabulary. But no, I, I appreciate it. I, 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 somebody telling me I have an excellent vocabulary is the sort of uh, compliment I'm going to hang on to for years, dude. He doesn't want to be the person that replaces Klopp, but the person who replaces the person that replaces Klopp. That's probably a good move. That's probably a good move. Streaming from home? Uh, yes. I actually, you know, I rent out office space in New York to stream from, and now I'm streaming from... No, I'm, I'm home for... The holidays, we had a bunch of family. I'm at my uh, parents' house, the house I grew up in. This is my childhood bedroom, although it looked completely different. My mom turned it into an office the moment I left. Sulu, thank you so much for the two months, dude. I appreciate the prime. I'm definitely a Scrabble pro. I'm actually, I'm like, you know, I'm not the fastest uh, board game player. I have an excellent vocabulary for, for, for a uh, Floridian. Hey, I mean... Floridians are known for their colorful uh, language, you know. Xabi Alonso's holding out for England, dude. That was it. That that was it. Yeah, I missed the background whiteboard. That was a long time ago. <laughs> that was a long time ago. He doesn't fancy the rebuilding job in Bayern and Liverpool. Always go through it. Uh, will always go through a dip post collapse. Waiting for Real seems like a good deal. Liverpool doesn't have to go through a dip though. I mean, you've got Darwin Nunez, you've got Alexi McAllister, you've got the next core. Right, Ibrahim Konate, they're already there. It, Liverpool felt like a better move maybe than Bayern because Bayern's going to have unrealistic expectations. The fact that, yeah, they, you know, they're in trouble there. Aramatsum, thank you for the 27 months. Whoosh! Doing a build a nation, save in Hungary, and my team's doing great. Competitive in the Champions League and near undefeated domestically every year. But how do I actually build the nation? The rest of the teams are not getting better. The league reps not improving. Thanks and love the streams. I'm just now... Uh, Thank you. Um, so building the nation, you have to just, so your goal is to win as much as possible. Start winning champions leagues out of Hungary, take over the national team, start winning more. That's what you can do. Improve up the facilities as much as you can. You can even be a little cheeky with it and start loaning out a few players to other teams, in the Hungarian league, but all you can do to build up the nation and increase the youth rating and is drag as many Hungarian clubs into in, into continental competition as you can. That's what you do. You drag them you, by, by raising the coefficient of the Hungarian league, by winning stuff, uh, and then you drag the league up. I am now realizing, though, that if Gadget buzzed me, then he might have had a concern with that $5 donation. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Uh, whatever, I can't figure that out right now. But no, I it was I, I was not messaged, so I do appreciate the five dollars gadget. I uh, maybe Shabby wants to go to Miami so he can do it on the Player Manager podcast. This guy gets it. We're actually recording a podcast episode tonight. What a what a pitch by Ben Swansea, the mods, excellent promoters. You playing today? You know, I'm just kind of chilling. You know, I'm just kind of vibing. I definitely don't have football manager up right now looking at Belchior Canelio's attributes. That doesn't sound like something I would do. Are you going to play the retro database? Now, I've really never played a retro database, mainly because if I'm playing an 0304 database, I don't know most of the people there. <laughs> I know I like to think at least that I know a lot of the important ones. I don't know a lot of the people there, though. Je know what I'm saying. 
Journal. Speaking of uh, podcasts, 20 minutes, 20 good minutes ever coming back? Dude, I don't know. I We got in a decent flow there for a hot second. Uh, but then I, they reached out to me about the player manager podcast. And I was like, this is awesome. I, uh, and, and I, I, we, I talked about it with Ben when we started the podcast years ago. And it was like, so the podcast sometimes run their life cycles, but you know, we'll, we'll say like, I, once we stabilize Zealandism of the player manager podcast going, uh, Ben hasn't reached out about it at all either. So I, it would really just be me. Being like, hey, let's do it again. Is it a little too zoomed in? I uh, know we play in a different resolution on this computer. I, I, I believe it or not, I don't travel like with the. Um, let's put a post match in there. See, that's the max resolution. Uh, maybe I could zoom out a little bit, maybe make it look a little bit more recognizable for you, but that looking better for you, that maybe, maybe that's looking a little better for you. Looking a little more normal Zealand streamish, you know, so when are you abandoning the stream and, uh, wait, what was that? <laughs> Uh, why did I end the stream early on Friday? Cause I had to fly uh, home for the holidays. When are you abandoning streaming and FM and going to a hundred percent Zealandism when I average a million views a video. So like next week, hundred percent dude. Sagamara so is leaving Festi is happy with his playing time. Coyote will be happy. Oh, I didn't transfer our custom faces. So there's no wait. Why weird vibes from the face back. Okay. Smudge, thank you for the 14 months. Trappy Gilmore, thank you for the 23 months. Dude. Hello, thank you guys for supporting the stream. Hello. The Jack Grealish clip. What do we have today anyways, dude? What do we have today? I don't even, I don't even know what we're doing today. How do you get the attributes on scouting reports? He used the Zealand skill, but I still have to click the reports for attributes. So it's all about your zoom percentage and your resolution. So zoom out. Basically, or make sure your resolution is set correctly. And then just zoom out and it'll be there. Oh, you want to you see a little demonstration? I actually don't know if on 1080p I can zoom in enough for them to go away. Uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, so if I zoom in, they go away. I don't want to do that, though. We're going to zoom back out and they will reappear. Bada boom. Yeah, Shay Get is a baller. He is. He's definitely a baller. Yeah, bro. Just get a bigger monitor, bro. Okay, so we're playing Leicester, then Milan away in the Champions League, then Leeds away in the league, then Atletico Madrid at home. We have a hot start to our Champions League nonsense going on. That much I know. Hot what 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 is what is what is this? What is what is this? There we go. Hot start the Champions League nonsense. Okay. How you guys doing? You guys look great today. Let's play some matches. Hi, Casper Gangstead. So what are they? Or am I afraid of them? Am I? I am on the road. No, I'm at home. Funny story about me being on the road. I'm actually at home. Okay, so El Hijo, uh, we've got, ah, sorry. We've got Champions League in three days, so I'm thinking. Did I already rotate the team? No, I didn't. This isn't a rotated team. Surely not. Surely not. Hey, McIntyre, dude, what, like, what do you do all day? I've been trying to teach you that, that position for, like, eons. Eons. Uh, Bellarmino Seca. Can't really, can't really decipher the color as well on this, um, this monitor. Murderous Otter, thank you for the 30 months. Uh, since I last saw Zealand win a title. Oh, okay. Thanks, man. Maximilian, thank you for the four months. So you completed eight years of management near the top of the game. I thought I see how you compared to other top eight managers eight years in. 
Check with Sir Alex Ferguson accomplished in his eight year, eighth year of coaching, which was 82 83 with Aberdeen. Is that when he won the Scottish League over uh, Celtic? And, or is that when he won a European Cup? Because I know he did both of those things. Zealand, bum, because bum, bum, he was a freak. Times never seen and an so unbelievably good, good so manager, good. obviously. So, good. Uh, so I'm going to start Jinis Regevich. Dude, I cannot be starting a guy that doesn't know how to play the position. So Kazu Kanda, Kaya. Uh, Mujahid Kaya is going to be the guy that takes over in that spot. And then we're just going to go with not McIntosh there, but McIntosh there. So we've got Kanda, Canelio, McIntosh, Kaya, Regevic. I'm going to go with Marky Mark Rodriguez. You know how it is. You know how it would be. Vandeven. You're out. And we want to make sure we get a good start to the Champions League, you know? I'm going to go with a little Salais, who's going to take a central defending role. He's going to take it very seriously. Coyote is going to go ahead and get a nod out there. He's going to get the start over Rico Lewis. Okay, and then Gung Shted's in. All right. Do I like my bench? Do I like my bench? It's a very talented bench out there today. Skoda probably shouldn't be there. Look at Daniel Colombo on the bench. Who doesn't love Daniel Colombo? Most of you guys probably don't even know who that guy is. Papa, thank you for the 23 months. Ben Swansea message. Okay. I just pinged you a new Jamie Vardy mural at Leicester. Worth asking the chat to rate it. Dude, I've seen this. I didn't think it was worth talking about, but you guys might disagree. I, you know, here's what I don't understand. Right? In an era where you can kind of just print this and slap it on the wall, right? In an era where uh, progressive playtime, thank you for the 38 months, by the way. Thank you for supporting this stream. I appreciate you. Good time. Good time. Oh, dude, that is that a sweet Caroline with my name in it? That's Mason Mount. It looks more like Mason Mount than Jamie Vardy. Oh, come on. Honest rating out of 10, chat. Minus 87 out of 10. Yes, this is a Leicester City mural of Jamie Vardy. But in an era where you can print stuff out and slap it on the wall, right? Even you print out a stencil and then color it in. How the hell does that happen? Oh, it's a cool mural. I love the painted on the brick vibe. But God, you got to be able to, like, we've got, we have the technology. We live in a society, right? We live in a society. I think it's actually quite, and then what are you doing Right? Wasn't it the left hand? Why are we not going with cast here? Why are we not going with cast Jamie Vardy? Shouldn't it be cast Jamie Vardy? Car Watch, thank you for the four months. Appreciate you supporting the stream, dude. Enjoy your bacon, your emotes. You're only two months away from silver bacon as well. <gasps> but don't worry, it's still edible. Just put a paper bag over his head. His arms are massive. His head, yeah, I don't know what's going on with the eyes. I think they just, I, yeah, they got a little lost here. Granted, I, I will say, this is way better than I would be able to do. Although, I would apply the available technology and print out some sort of giant stencil for 20 bucks from a local print shop. And then I probably would end up doing better. I got lost in his eyes. Uh, Yeah, I mean, those are dreamy, aren't they? How do you beat that? Don't those, those just have a seductive twinkle in the eyes there. You get AI to do a better job than that? Yeah, probably. But AI can't put it on the wall. All right. At least not yet. AI can't put it on a wall for people with beers to lean against. Yeah, that's a horrifying, uh, that's a horrifying mural. That is, I, I agree with the negative 87 out of 10 because that's just willingly messing it up, you know? Like, you have the technology available to be, able to, like, to be able to have a better mural than that. And you're just not using it at that point. Vandevin's upset because he feels like he should have been picked. Maybe you don't get hurt as much as you get hurt, and I won't baby you through the season. Uh, relax and play your natural game. I know we got a lot of younger, newer guys out there. I want you to relax and play your natural game.
There we go. Got your match day audio going. Yeah, we won three of our first four matches. Problem is we got beaten like a drum by Manchester City at the Etihad, which was not the way we wanted to get that going this season. But, uh, yeah. Did I not sell Rosales? No. Train, thank you for the 40 months. I was wondering why the Frisbee was getting bigger. Then it hit me. Did it now. Oh. That was good. That was a B. That was good. I liked it. Canelio. Kazukanda. I mean, uh, uh, oh, where's the aggressiveness there, Dilek? Where's the aggressiveness, Dilek? It wasn't there. Noisy crowd today. All right, I'll turn that down a little bit. Da -da -da -da. Oh, there you go. That was the issue. Okay. I found the issue with the crowd thing. Okay, turned it down. No music today? No, there's music on. It was just buried underneath the crowd because uh, out of the crowd audio levels were getting picked up in the wrong place. Now they're okay. Come on, Mark. Radjevic. Oh, that sucks. Why did he want to shoot it? Not good. 73% possession we haven't done diddly squat. Oh, Radjevic is hurt. The issues are compounding, Kazu. Oh, that's a good ball. That's a really good ball! That's how you start a stream. And I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. That is a great header by Paul McIntosh. That is being a tall winger in the modern game. McIntosh is good now? He No, but he is tall. McIntosh definitely is tall. So let's just try and use that. How could we use that? <laughs> So we've got a tall winger. How could we, how could we use that? You know, let's really think about it. All right, right in front of you. Rejovic is gonna get to halftime. Oh, good pass. Oh, good pass, give and go. He was off and he missed. He wasn't off. Let's just turn up everything. Let's just turn up everything all the way, dude. I feel like that would be the, uh, that's the logical solution here. I'm just going to turn up everything. All right. We, uh, done well control of possession. Yes. Now, I don't have the same, uh, uh, it's a very different streaming setup at home, even though it looks pretty similar. It's like the way things work. It's a one PC setup instead of a two PC setup. 
you know, the, so the audio system is like completely different. I forgot to bring out Regovich. Guys, I got distracted by the music. He just got sent off. That's the second time this season. We've played five matches and he's been sent off twice. How does that even make sense? Shouldn't he still be suspended? So I shift into this right here and then go with uh, kind of an advanced playmaker. All right, but I, Zealand, you're going to have to bring somebody else off. You know that, right? Okay, so Coyote has just decided to be absolutely tyrannical this season. He has played two matches and gotten a red card in both of them. Straight red card. Here's to being able to hang on to, uh, to this result. Oh, I was really hoping he was heading that back across like a good player. Speed running red card collections. Now, I, I, I don't have uh, the custom faces in this, um, on this computer. I forgot to transfer them from New York. So if anybody doesn't have a face, that's why. Um, it's not that they didn't earn their face or something. Play it. Conda. Kazu, thank you. All right, Canelio, we can take our time here. Sh oh, Kaya, good save. Okay, that's good, though. It's mainly good because it's friggin' our highlight, and I don't want it to be theirs. You look more Floridian when you're in Florida. It's the sepia lighting that is always on in Florida. You know, there's like a filter. It's like that same filter that when you know when you go to Mexico, basically, and things just get a little more orange. Oh, that's good. Okay, how how does somebody get a red card in their first two appearances of the season? That is terrifying. So unnecessary. Good, Rosales, McIntosh. Scramble that away, please. Oh, he touched that. Brian, thank you for the tier three. Hello. For a year. Thank you for the tier three sub, bro. Woody, thank you for the prime as well. Thank you for supporting the stream, dude. And congrats on your golden bacon, Brian. Hot dang it. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Doig, I don't like that. I, why is he doing that? I specifically requested that he didn't. We are managing to keep the ball a lot, which is good. Let's make some subs, keep them legs nice and fresh out there. We do have, obviously, one of the preeminent wingers in the entire world, Shikichi, we can put out there. Uh, Belchior, Canelio, I'm going to drop for Bellarmino Seca. He'll bring a ton of quality to our build-up play in the last 15 minutes. Also going to drop Mark for Javi Guerra. He's going to, well, that's stupid. That's just dumb. That right there would just be a dumb thing to do. I am going to drop Mujahid Kaya for Kieran Tal, uh, Kieran Tal just because I can. And uh, we'll save that last sub just in case we need it. But those, uh, that's an injection of fresh legs and quality. It should help us. All right, Marky Mark, do something crazy now. Pungineer, thank you for the 14 months, dude. Thanks for supporting the stream, brother. 
Okazu Kanda. Oh, he was working him. He was showing him the business. Um, okay, we're shifting the press around. We don't need to press too crazy, but that's a nice play by Seca. That's why we bring in the good players. Kazu Kanda, Bellarmino Seca. Eventually, we'll get a shot on target somewhere. Oh, Rodriguez. Oh, what a pass! Oh, dude. Oh, I was sick. Monsi, thank you for the year. Thank you for supporting the stream. Enjoy your golden bacon. Oh, uh, we got this. We got this. Scramble, scramble, scramble. Good way to force that ball back. Follow him. Follow him into that corner. Did not follow him nearly enough. That's a great defensive header by Rosales. That's a good step by Rodriguez. And good hands by Gongstead. All right. Keep chilling out now. Keep chilling out now. We're going to turn off the counter. We're going to start to really take the air out of the ball here in the last 10 minutes. We're not going to expose ourselves on a counter at all. Seca, best midfielder in the world. Bellarmino Seca. Bellarmino! I'm happy now. Tough. Sell Bellarmino Seca. I would not, I would, I might even not, I would sell him maybe for 200 million. He's that good. Oh, good hit, Chikichi. Just keep the pressure on here. Just keep the pressure on. I'm going to lower the tempo all the way. Just keep that pressure on. All right, we got a, we got a red card in the 46th minute. This is Operation See This Out now. Love the time wasting here. Didn't even get a yellow card for that. Just directing different people around, you know, just seeing where, oh, eight minutes. Am I a joke to you? Or me and my feelings a joke to you? Eight minutes? I can't even count that high. <laughs> Go to the middle. Go to the middle! Thank you. Well done. Now look at outside. Outside! Good. Now play it back. Perfect. They can't get near us. Kazu Kondo! Oh, man. Kazu, what are you doing? Just smack that into the net, dude. Take it to the corner. Time waste in the corner. Oh, Doig, who's there? Oh, he was there. Just volley that in. Shikichi's going to shoot, and it's going to get blocked. Just kidding. What a goal. Come on, lads! You know anything interesting to believe everything on the internet? Uh, believe everything on the internet? That, no, I haven't done anything interesting at all. Um, I, I, you know, I... <sighs> I just find it quite cache to make April Fool's jokes, you know? Quite cache, quite, you know, beneath me. Now, the truth be told, I forget it's April Fool's most of the time. And then the moment I see the first incredibly unbelievable headline, I'm always like, oh, it's April Fool's today. All right. Come on, Rigo. Come on, little Sales. Play him. Good. Play it again. Good. Kazu, good. This doesn't matter because this is the end of the match. But I, you know what? With the exception of Michael Coyote, very happy with the way our team is playing so far this year. How do I subscribe to the secret tier four sub, which allows me to live in your closet? $20. $20. So what do I do with Coyote? That's two red cards in the first five matches of the season. $20. A crisp $20 bill.
All right, they pay you 20 pounds a month. Yes, $20. Crisp $20 bill. The old Newcastle lost. Anybody important lose, though? No offense. Uh, uh, Bournemouth beat Newcastle and is now top of the prem. Live your best life, Kings. Two red cards in five matches. I don't think we had anybody get two red cards all season last year. Automatic two-match ban. Yeah, we might as well appeal. I, I don't know. Like, what in the world is going on, dude? What in the world is going on? It's just absolutely outrageous. Coyote is going to be exploring new and great ways to uh, not be playing. I'm trying to get him on the field too, man. He wants to play. He wants to feel included in the team. He's all upset. He's, but he's not that upset. Joran, thank you so much for the year. Enjoy your golden bacon. Thank you for the prime. How do I stop my players from being complacent? Uh, you have to be harder on them. You have to be like, yo, I expect you to win this match. I demand more from you. You have to be really hard on them to prevent complacency. And then if you blow a team out that you were supposed to blow out, let's not get ahead of ourselves, right? Got to stay focused for the next match. That sort of, um, those sorts of team talks. That's all in your team talks, though. Eight minutes, I can't even count that high. <laughs> I, uh, I'm mines one, one away to Bayern just to lose three, one to Antwerp in the champions league. Champions league's a different beast, dude. Like we're about to go away to AC Milan. I think I'm going to play pretty aggressive though. I think we probably have a more talented team than AC Milan. I want to try and control this match early. We did rotate and win despite the red card. So we should have some pretty fresh legs coming out there. Did City win? Are they on five wins from five? Are they doing their whole we're amazing at the start of the season thing? Because that would be quite annoying. Minnesota, thank you for the three months. Tears from Brazil. When can you start a save with a Bocha Fogo? Ah, I've actually never managed in Brazil in FM. So that's like, that's my white whale. That's the, the great, the great save in the sky. Milan grip by Champions League fever. Look at this, 2,800 traveling Tottenham Hotspur fans for the Champions League. Come on. Come on. Dude, uh, please be like that Kurt guy. Be energetic. Treat this team like a team. I mean, I think I'm very emotionally invested in my saves, to be honest. I just don't really have a setup where I'm able to pace around, you know? But if you're around the stream long enough, you know that I, I suffer from extreme emotional investment in my, in my football manager saves. Suffer would also be the, uh, the right word. So yeah, Coyote, goodness gracious. A second red card in five matches. He's played two matches, gotten a red card in both of them. Now he's going to miss like eight matches or something crazy. Brazil's the hardest league. I mean, it just has a ton of matches. So does the sixth tier of England, you know. Brazil's got a few more than that, though. But there are uh, you, you, there are plenty of tough leagues out there. That sucks. Dislocated his shoulder right after I sent him on loan. Owie, I believe, is the appropriate medical term for that. Strive, very serious Nick Lima energy. To be, yeah, to be picking up multiple red cards in the first five matches of a season. Okay, let's go here and then do a little quick pick. So, oh, 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 okay. Jarrell Hato's there, first of all. Jarrell Hato, Gonzalo Inacio, Mickey Vandevin acting like he's not in the starting lineup when he definitely is. All right, Rodriguez, no. I actually think we're going to have him on the bench here. Okay, where's the guy I'm looking for? That would be Bellarmino Seca. But I guess we're going to play Bellarmino Seca there. We'll switch this to Javi Guerra's there. He's just going to be uh, be, be chilling. Uh, George Shigichi is going to be on the on the prowl. 
Bit more reserved than the normal setup for this formation, but it should allow us to build up some absolutely incredible attacks. Some really classy attacks. I Festi Abazele. I mean, we just have too many defenders. I just have too many defenders. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Okay, there's the bench all set up. Rajevich is cleared to play if we need him. Let's do a little Champions League. Am I going to buy Schwartz after this? Well, we could buy him in January. But he's $131 million now, so he's not as... Um, it's not as likable as he was, you know. He used, a poor guy used to be likable. <sighs> what are they doing? Victor Aletu. Ooh. He's on the move. Teo Hernandez. How old is Teo Hernandez? 33 and still very good. And they have Charles de Ketelaire. They're running Kareem Konate up top. They have they have a really good team. They have a really good team. Chuck Weze may be a little off the pace, but Leao is fantastic. Dick Atelier, everybody knows that kid's good. They're good. They've got the Wonder Kid of Dielsen. All right, Chad, here we go. Champions League. Oh, wait, sorry. Uh, team talk. Ugh. Hello. I uh, I expect to win tonight. I, I I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna take the pressure off of our team. Let's get it! Come on, boys. Come on, boys. I like how it's coming through in the game as well. All right, let's go, chat. This is showtime. Champions League play underway. We got uh, all the way to the Champions League semifinal. Lost in a 97th minute penalty to Real Madrid in the Champions League semifinal last season. We are back and ready to rock and roll this year. We finished in the top, oh, goodness gracious. We finished in the top eight of the Champions League League stage last season, which gets you right into the round of 16. That is what we are looking to do again. We were perfect at home in our four home matches. We were not amazing away during the league stage. So three points at AC Milan would be a, a really nice pickup for us. That'd be a really cheeky pickup for the boys. And we've come out really aggressive. I, I've decided to bank on uh, our team being very, very talented, and we've decided to kind of go after this. But we are do not, we do not have an amount of the ball that is making me feel good. We are keeping them in their half of the field, but we are not winning the ball well. And even despite our low tempo, we are also not possessing the ball particularly well. Oh, good tackle. Inacio, great read of the situation. That's unfortunate. It's a huge block. Okay. Shakichi, come on. The ball to you, brother. We've all of a sudden taken over the momentum graph. I'd love to see that reflected in, like, a highlight. Uh, oh, look at the hustle. Look at the hustle from Kieran Tall. A little pass to himself. All right, Kieran. Great plays from... Oh, what a pass. <laughs> Heavens above if that ball had gone in. Henry, thank you for the three months. Thank you for supporting the stream. 
Congrats on cooking your bacon, dude. Thanks for spending him $5 of Jeff Bezos' money. Vandevin, Mickey, the dream is still alive here. Kieran Tall's at the back post. Okay, we're alive. We're awake. We're playing our way into this. We did not have a good first 15, 20 minutes, but we're taking over that momentum graph now. We're swaggering around. We're showing the quality. We're showing why is why is Guerra stealing that header from Jarrell Hato, who's one of the guys we actually want to head the ball. Any uh, any good reasons out there? All right, George Shikichi. Oh, good header, Kieran Tall. That's good. That's good. Hendrick. Oh, he's onside. Way to run. Why he was on, okay? In my heart, he was on. In my soul, he was on. Oh, what a press. Javi Guerra. I would have loved to see a little facilitating, a little playmaking. Cheddar Biscuits, thank you for the five months. Thank you for supporting the stream, dude. Laid off. That's still a good ball, though. Uh, short corner's looking mighty tasty all of a sudden. Pretty interesting first half. I mean, we're, river, we're riverboat gambling, right? We're going for it. We can get a goal that'll make his favorites to win. I'm not going to say a good thing. I'm not going to say a bad thing. Um... Maybe he's struggling to play out of the back a little bit. I mean, we got 30. Oh, we went back down to 37. But we were running the momentum graph. I love running the momentum graph. Plum Plum, thank you so much for the 19 months. I once dated a woman who was a fourth Chinese, a fourth Turkish, a fourth Danish, and a fourth Vietnamese. She was great, but I had to break up with her. Too many red flags. <laughs> All right. All right. That's an A minus, Pump Blood. That was good. That was a quality dad joke, Pump Blood. That's an A minus. You got me with that one. I didn't see where it was going. It hoodwinked, it bamboozled me. We got to lock in here. This match is getting away from us. We do have Mujahid Kaya. We've got Paul McIntosh, who's coming off a goal. Right. We've got Kazu Kondo, who can come in for Endrick. has got a lot of uh, speed and creativity, and he's got, a, he's got some of this. He's got some of that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's maybe assess what we want to do perhaps with the midfield. Cause we do have Janis Rajovic, uh, Janis Rajovic, who, uh, we can try to mess around with. I'm going to put him on attack and I am going to move this tactic into attacking. I do not want to go all the way to the other attacking tactic though. We're going to make four changes. We are, uh, we're going to make sure we put, that was fun. I enjoyed the two seconds in which I was able to live in a world where uh, maybe, perhaps, we were going to have Kazu Kanda playing in that spot. But now we will bring in Marcelo Enrique. He's going to take over the ball-winning spot, and the ever-fluid Mark Rodriguez is going to step the right wing. Oh, God. <laughs> you scared the hell out of me. What are you guys up to? When do you leave? They're getting ready to leave. Oh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my, my cousins just scared me. I didn't say bye. Oh wait, somebody ran in also. Uh, yeah, we I got tactically ambushed, dude. I got I got tactically ambushed. Um what's I doing? They were they were just stopping they're they're headed home today. They were just stopping by before they headed home to say bye. Uh and apparently dude, I didn't notice them until my mom's face was over here. I didn't notice them until my mom's face was like on the other side of me. I had no idea what was happening. That was really funny. Uh, Dave, thank you for the 15 months. But ju just in case they happen to look back at the stream to see the point that they came on, everybody say, hi, cousins. Say, say, say that in the chat. Something like that. Just say hi. I don't know. They'll probably think it's cool if they look. 
But thank you for the 15 months, Dave. Hello, cousins. Very, very wholesome. Yeah, we had a great, we had a great weekend all hanging out. Yeah, those are those, those are my cousins. Yeah. Hello, cousins. Oh, they were, uh, it's nice of them to stop by and say uh, say goodbye as well. Uh, okay, what do I want? Oh, he could be a Romdoiter. He actually is a pretty good Romdoiter. Um, we could also go like wide target forward. No, I'm thinking. I'm thinking we Rom Deuter him on the right. We just let him float around, use his size, use his uh, intelligence off the ball. All right, Marcel Enrique is coming in because Kazu Kanda got hurt immediately in his first Champions League match, which sucks. Gamer, thank you for the tier two, dude. Well, that's the wrong button. I appreciate it. Oh, it's Palma, that guy we nearly signed. Thank goodness. I thought that was in. We're sending it though. We want the uh, we want the win on the road. We will pack this tactic in faster than you've ever seen if we get this goal. Marcelo Enrique, good sharp pass. Back into oh, that's Kaya. We had the overload on the right side too. You got to find that. Got to find that. All right, Rodriguez, let's go. Oh, good pass. Radjovic is in. Yes. It's Jimmy Radjovic with the goal for Tottenham Hotspur. All right, give me wing on attack. Give me Ramdeuter. Give me wing on support. Give me fullback on defend. Yes. Give me Seca as an advanced playmaker on this side. With Regovic and Rodriguez kind of streaking ahead of him. And you are an anchor man. That's what you do. Okay. We put him on attack, man. We put him on attack. Janis Radjevic. He's making that run, getting after the back line. Saucy ball by Rodriguez. Good first touch. Tidy finish. Janis Radjevic. Hey, yo. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Oh, no, brother. Brother, no. Brother, don't do it. Don't do it, brother. Thank you. Oh, take him. Take him to school. Educate this man. Loving the Spurs. Oh, I don't have any more subs, so I guess we're not doing anything. I paused it to use my last sub, but Kazu Kanda getting hurt made me use my last sub way earlier than I wanted to. All right there, Sailor. Let's uh, let's go ahead and make some adjustments here, boys. That's the guy that was out on loan from the club when I got here. The future sale already agreed. Oh, oh, my. Was he off? Not Mikey Moore. Not on a play like that. Heavens to Betsy. Not on a play like that. Brooks, loving the Spurs run when I get a chance to tune in, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the 15 months, Brooks. Thank you for supporting the stream. Oh, man. That, that, I had a heart attack. When I saw who that ball fell to after all them fancy passes... I had a heart attack. This has been a very even game. They had the one big chance we blocked early in the match, and then they, they had that one, and we made a tactical adjustment to get in behind. And you know what? Mark Rodriguez has proven that he's got a little bit of game when it comes to the uh, comes that Romdeuter spot out on the right side. That is something we could definitely maybe look to use again, you know? Oh, uh, Yes. Yes. Didn't play well, but we can be happy with that result. We did not dominate the game, but we got the three points away against AC Milan. That's like one of the toughest matches we're going to have in the Champions League the whole time. 
That is one of the toughest match. Like I think that was one of our pot one Champions League matches, uh, and you only get one road pot one Champions League match, and we just won ours. So that is that is a big time dubski right there. What's the injury? Twisted ankle, three to four weeks. Well, we've got a deep team. We got to use it. We've got a deep team, and we've got to use it. When we got Atletico Madrid at home in the Champions League coming up next week. In the meantime, look at that. Okay. Um, <laughs> Paterne Macanya from the U19s. Looking like he's got some serious game. We love to see it. <sighs> so is, is this at home or is this on the... Um, this is on the road, isn't it? Oh, Bellarmino Sec is second in odds for top young player. Love that. Oh, that is that like in the world? Yeah, I think it might be. Okay. Who are we playing as? Tottenham, dude. Uh, we we started with no badges and no playing experience, and we've managed to get. Uh, we're at Tottenham here in season nine. We managed to get all the way to this point, uh, and we had a shot at a treble last season that we bottled absolutely stupendously. I mean. One of like maybe my finest piece of handiwork to bottle it. It was really bad. And um <laughs> but you know what? We move. We move on. New season, new team that we're excited about. Apparently, I don't know why uh the attribute stuff is not showing up for me on this screen. It is showing up there though. So Gangstead is improving. We just uh we have to go to the different screen to see it. Okay, Josh, Skoda, Marcelo, Enrique. I mean, these five guys. I, well, let's see who I want to start. Who am I thinking I want to start? So who's bounced back? Because we have three, two days. Oh, then we have Newcastle at home. Okay. This is leads away. Well, leads is good. So we're going to want to start whoever we, um, whoever we feel like we can start here. So George and Kieran... Bellarmino's not going to start. He's definitely looking a little tired, a little worse for wear. So we're going to go with a Belchior Canelio, Belchior, uh, whatever it is. Uh, Mark Rodriguez, we're going to get him off for Marcelo Enrique. Vandeven, yeah, Gonzalo Inacio deserves the rest. We'll go with Francisco Rosales. And we'll have Jarrell Hato doing that. And then uh, Festi Ebezele is going to give us a run. So those guys are in the team. So those guys should not be here. So if you happen to be in the starting lineup, you shouldn't be here. Anybody else lacking match sharpness? Uh, well, Coyote, because he keeps getting freaking suspended. Whatever. <laughs> so he's gotten two red cards the first five matches of the season. Have we won a trophy? Yeah, we did win the Europa League. I just haven't won a domestic trophy with Spurs. But I did win the Europa League, which, you know, obviously is a massive achievement that we're really happy about. I just wish that we, uh, we you know, we could have capitalized on one of the domestic trophies that we, uh, you know, I think it would be really nice if we could win a domestic trophy with uh, with Spurs. And after bottling everything as aggressively as we did last time, I, our goal is to come out and win a domestic trophy with Spurs, obviously. Do, 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 do. He is improving, but not by a lot. All right. Well, this isn't the type of match where I'm going to throw somebody in the deep end here. <sighs> too little, too late. But Hector Gamera has been sold to Chelsea for $26.5 million. You know what? We'll take that. We'll take that. Lurcher, thank you for the 35 months. You should make an NHL playoff bracket. When it comes out, I'm just going to pick the Bolts to win. So, Because the Bolts are going to win. But thank you for the 35 months, Lurge. I appreciate you. Yeah, but honestly, Hector did score some nice goals for us. He played a good number of matches. Uh, we just wish we'd been able to get more for him on the transfer market. But $26.5 million is a heck of a lot better than no million. According to my math, anyways. Heck of a lot better. Okay. So that's, I mean, we've got $104 million in the transfer budget going into the offseason, which is kind of crazy. We're going into January, I mean. 
Well, we have 104 million in our transfer budget going into January. You can expect us to pull the trigger on some absolutely monster moves. You can expect those moves to hit, to pop it, lock it, and drop it. Tony King, what are you? Uh, so, what are you good at, man? Doesn't look like you're good at much. So, Gamera doesn't actually leave until January, but we have we finished the deal. So, I believe it goes not into our balance yet, but into our transfer budget. I have 107 million. 107 million in the transfer budget going to January. So if, you know, if we're looking at this team, and Tom, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Thank you for supporting the channel with kindness and giving somebody a ad free experience and emotes for a whole month. Um, but I, I, what, oh, I thought, oh, that's KO Day getting the further two match ban. So he's going to miss the next four matches in the league. Sick. Uh, you know, awesome. Just love that for him. Fantastic stuff. The dude's not even going to get into the flow of the season for a while here. All right, so we've got Gongstead, Ebisele, Rosales, Jarrell Hato, Josh Doig, Ahavi Guerra, Marcelo Enrique, Indrik, Canelia, George Shikichi, and Kieran Tall. Everybody looks A-OK -okay to go, so we'll just... Um... Yeah, the German didn't want us. No, he renegotiated with the club he was at instead of uh, signing with us, which was a real heartbreaker. It was. It was a real heartbreaker. RB Salzburg won Skoda. I don't know if they have the facilities for that, big man. I don't know if they have the facilities for that. I know that Leeds had a tremendous year last year. Leeds had a really, really good year last year, so let's hope... Um, Do, 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 do. Let's play through Canelio. Let's see how that works. I like the way this played towards the back end of the AC Milan match. Let's see if we can get on this match early, though. Um, for the favorites, go out there and play like it. All right, maybe I'm putting a little pressure on the guys, but we've won four of our first five matches in the league. We're off to a pretty good start this year. Bad loss at the Etihad, 3-0, but we didn't really get dominated. They just scored their chances, and we didn't. Obviously off to a winning start in Champions League play as well. Advancing in the League Cup after beating United, which is a brutal first League Cup round draw. And I think we have Crystal Palace as well. Like, I don't I don't think I'm going to play any non-Premier League teams in the League Cup this year if we're able to go all the way. Play Coyote in the Champions League to make up for it? True, I guess I could do that. I guess I could do that. It's weird to see Zealand without his all, all his RGB lights. Yeah, but I do have a, a terracotta statue back there that I did get in China when I was a kid. So there is that. It's pretty cool, I think. Pretty sick. Right, can I have that ball, please? Just like pretty please. Thank you. Belsi or Canelio. That sucks because that was a beautiful looking counter. That's still really not a chance for them, but man, what a chance that was for us if we'd been able to put that pass together. Playing this short? Or are we uh, we're going? For, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I broke my stress banana. My stress banana is now leaking sand. It's only a matter of time. Oh, let's go! Come on, Rosales! I'm low-key, high-key worried about this match because Leeds was, I think they're in Europe. I think they finished like seventh last year. They were very, very competent. They finished ahead of at least one of the big six teams. So this on the road is one of those sleeper games between Champions League ties. To really catch out. That's good to get an early set-piece goal in. Narosa, thank you for subbing six months in advance. Wow. You decided that you liked me a lot or you just really hate ads. Either way, I appreciate it. Let's go, Shigichi. I had a Chelsea. Yeah, okay, they were at a Chelsea. Well, I think Liverpool snuck into Europe right at the end of the season. Oh, that's Hendrik. Oh, yo, Hendrik. Harsh, harsh shot off the crossbar there. You got a taste for it. We'll stay aggressive. He can score these.
I love it when I'm right. I love it so much when I'm right. What a freaking banger. And, pe and people don't like him. Can you believe that? And people legitimately don't like him, you know? Redemption arc for Endrick. Uh, he's, I think he already has two direct free kick goals this season. I'm just checking the old memory banks. I think there was another one of similar distance that he's already, that he, that he scored as well. Endrick's just the new mass. Yeah, well, I mean, he, he's dropped some stinkers as well. I'm not going to pretend like he hasn't dropped some stinkers, but his quality is clear. His quality is present. Doig, Chagichi, Doig, Cadilio, Jarrell Hato, who's hopefully going to be able to play the next two matches. What a stunning pass there by Jarrell, but at least he has the athleticism to recover. Is that on? I guess it is because we're still going, but... Um, okay, guys, that was some pretty poor defending. We had, I feel like we had ample opportunity to get to the far side of Daryl DK, and we just didn't take that opportunity, you know? Prophet, thank you for the prime, brother. Oh. Uh, you know, I feel like Hato just didn't take a great angle with that. Marcelo Enrique ended up being the guy that was trying to close the shot down. It's a pretty poorly defended. Chigichi took a knock there. Uh, we'll get him at halftime. That sucks. George seems to be a master at picking up, like, bruised ankles and stuff. So, I guess that's just the world we're going to have to live in. Oh, come on. Oh, what are you doing, Gara? What is that, man? Thanks for winning it back, but seriously, dude. Enough with the dummies. Oh, Guerra. There you go. That's more like Javi Guerra. There we go, Shikichi. That's that's good. Running towards the goal and taking a hard shot on target at the goal is not something I will ever hate at. Where's Hendrick's face? Oh, I sold it. Not dealing with those throw-ins well. That's where they got their goal off of us. Uh, that's where they got their goal off to. Oh, we, I mean, you're not even hurt, George. What are you even upset about? Fine, I'll get you. Because Paul McIntosh has been playing pretty well. That's the only reason I'm going to get you. And we've also got apparently an injury in the midfield. Uh, I'll go with, uh, I'm going to go with Mark Rodriguez. I want to see how he plays this position. Because we got a bit of an injury in the midfield. Says Javi Guerra's picked up a bit of a bump as well, and we want both those guys to play Champions League in a couple of days, so let's not push the issue. Mark Rodriguez, your time to shine. Oh, Belchior, that's onside. Blame Blair, thank you so much for the prime. Admit Mage, congrats on the year, dude. Thank you for supporting the stream for a whole year. You get the uh, ovation. Yeah, we're hanging on. I think... I'm thinking, chat, 60-65, we shift into, like, a 4-4, uh, four, four, uh, the 4-3-3 three, three and kind of play this out a little more comfortable. But I do want to try and get a third goal up on the board, and I think we have been the better team. All right. Oh, yeah, keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it. Swing it around. Let's get our shape back. There you go. Use that pace. Use that pace. Use that pace! Could have taken another touch there. Oh, there is more space. He should have taken another touch. Oh, oh no. Good block, good defense. Good timely defending. McIntosh drop it a 6.5 to make me hate him again. Got to respect it. This could actually be a really good spot. Oh, no, the big guys retreated. If they'd stayed up, we could have gotten across him. Marky Mark.
Got it. Come on. This ball is so loose. Thank you. Endrick. Oh, Endrick. Oh, Endrick. Oh, Endrick. It's still Endrick. It must be said, a messy esque run off the near line. Tom, thank you for the gifted sub to two match. Thank you for giving them no ads for a month. The bacon, the emotes, supporting the stream with kindness. McIntosh. Now, McIntosh, I think, I, look, I loved Mass. The issue with Mass was that you got, a lot of you guys hated him, and I actually really liked him. He did a lot for the team. That might, he's off. Are you serious? This game is so uh, so realistic. Terrell Malassi is still alive. I do wonder what things will look like when Terrell Malassi returns, because it does feel like he's been gone for quite a long time. All right, I'm going to go into our match control tactic. I don't think there's as much of a reason to uh, send it now. Freaking Macintosh, though. He is angering me, mainly just because he's he's bad. Right now, Kieran Tall, we're going to get you off for Kaya, and then we'll go complete forward. Actually, give me a deep lying forward. Help the build up play, probably make it easier for us here. Doeg's coming off for Vandevin. We'll hold the last sub. I don't like the nerves. You seeing those nerves on Mark Rodriguez? Get the change in. Hendrick was saving his mana up for six months, and now he's using it in this game. Likely story. Although he was, you know, he just had a few bad matches. It wasn't like he was bad the whole. That was saved. What a save by Casper Gongstead. <sighs> Didn't think that was a serious chance. That was a serious uh, save. They switched their formation. Dude, great shout. I did not see that. Is all those highlights were set piece based. Okay, so DK's dropping. Terrell's going forward. They've got Terrell Malasia, obviously, but Handel's the guy we got to look out for. And then anytime you end up in this situation, got to make sure you stay on top of the ye old wingbacks. Ooh. 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 I I don't know. I have no idea if he was on. It normally pops up at the bottom left, but we've got a change going in. Let's freaking go, dude. This is gorgeous. Quick passing. Canelio, McIntosh first time. Kaya, very good finish by Mujahid Kaya. Super Al, thank you for the 20 months. That's my striker. I, you know, there are some shouts that maybe Mujahid Kaya should be first choice over Karen Tall, but I use Kaya as kind of like a Swiss Army knife off. No, oh, it's his first ever goal for Tottenham Hotspur. It's Belchior Cornelio of Portugal with a star spangled beauty. What a stunning pair of free kicks from Indrik and Belchior Canelio. Absolutely brilliant way to open your Tottenham Hotspur goal scoring account. You may never see a better first career goal than that. Belchior Canelio. I was watching that. I'm like, I don't, I, I don't think he's actually ever scored before for us. He's not really a goal scoring type guy, but somebody tell that to his free kicks. Oh, here he is again. Canelio. Good ball by Hendrick. I give him credit. Don't think I didn't see it. Good ball by Hendrick. Mujahid Kaya. Oh. What has happened so far in the stream? Uh, we won our match 1-0 away against AC Milan. Uh, and now we are playing a league match against Leeds. Basically. 
We also won the match we played before that, but I don't remember. Oh, we played Lester. Oh, let's go. Oh, he's off. And he shanked it. Atta boy, Big Mark. Atta boy. Who's Festy? No, he's been on the team for a year. Uh, Festy Ebizele. Uh, he's our kind of deep cover fullback, uh, but Coyote is suspended for league matches, so for resting Rico. Uh, we like him. I, I don't mind putting Festy Ebizele in the first team. He's one of those great finds where he doesn't mind not playing a ton. Although he does have a playing time promise right now. He's a fringe player, so we just have to give him, like, a couple matches. Which, considering how much Coyote is getting suspended, we would have given him anyways. So it's not been a problem. Kefrey, thank you for the five months. How do you know if the goal's on or not? Away, uh, It's the same way as last year. In the bottom left, it'll pop up if it's a goal, and it won't pop up if it's not. On the Zealand skin. That's not there in the base game. Uh, that It's just the Zealand skin is pulling information that would normally be happening in the background into the bottom corner, so for, it has that presentation. And that information updates and kind of spoils it for you, basically. But that's why. Uh, good win. That was not an easy match. Um, we scored a couple of amazing direct free kick goals to make that a lot easier than it should have been. Really? He didn't even have the orange thing next to him. He didn't even have the orange injury thing next to him. Come on, man. He's out for two weeks, even though he didn't have the orange injury thing. Did you hear? He didn't even have the orange injury thing. Oh, okay. Um... Let's get our starting lineup in then. Gonzalo Inacio sliding Jarrell Hato on over. Um, I'll start Mujahid Kaya. We'll do Indrik and um, George Shikichi. Belchior Canelio, not even registered, obviously. Give me an unavailable. Thank you. That's helpful. Okay, Kieran Tall's there. Just missing a uh, a winger sub, I imagine, because that injury. But that's also because Mujahid Kai is hanging out there. So, Festi Abizelli get his butt up there, and we need uh, an attacking midfielder. That's going to be Redjevic and Mark Rodriguez. I get you know what? We'll rest him two days. I think Jarrell Hata is the other one. And uh, Indrik, we'll go ahead and rest him two days. Shigichi would probably be fine. If he's not, we'll just move Kaya there and put Kieran Tell in. Well, that's how we're going to line up now that Javi Guerra's decided that he's actually hurt. Send those guys home for a couple days, have them come back for Atletico Madrid. Easy does it. Hey, Landis, thank you for the 23 months, dude. Yeah, there were, I, that's my issue, HC. I've never seen somebody get it in, like, have an injury after the match and not even have an orange injury thingy. Like, he took a knock, but he, he didn't even have an orange injury thingy. I didn't know it was possible for you to come out of that match and be like, oh, yeah, I'm hurt for two weeks, by the way. Just thought I'd let you know. Okay. Uh, also, hola, Landis. Hola. But it's a very good bounce back. There were some uh, some of you guys, some of you uh, you folks over there, some of you you you, you people, right? A little concerned after we lost three to nil at the Eddie had to start the season. Well, guess what? We have rebounded. United just beat Liverpool. Chelsea beat Arsenal. And that means that with all matches played, somehow Bournemouth is top. City lost away to Leicester. Couldn't be me, honestly, by four goals. So Premier League stays undefeated for its weirdness. But we have uh, we've injected ourselves right into the race. It's obviously early in the season. Just about picking up all the points that you can pick up. Can only play the teams that we're set to play, you know? And we will play against them, and we will try to beat them. Hell yeah, brother. Imagine getting beaten by Bournemouth. Yeah, it couldn't be me. But Bournemouth are the only invincible team left in the Premier League after six matches. Wait, we have a week off? I don't buy that for a second. 
That's communist propaganda. We have a week. <laughs> we have a week off. Why? There's no international break, dude. I, I guess there is. But it starts at the end of September. I thought it was October, November. Oh. Maybe. I guess. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, some sort of international break. I feel like it's not normally when the international break is, but whatever. I'll take it. I mean, Tavi Guerra only misses two matches. <laughs> it's fine. Fine with me. Going Beagle injured. Yeah, I know. Isn't that, isn't that just a bear? I had the same reaction last year. Good to know I'm consistent in my opinions, like a goldfish. Every season, I'm like, wait a second. Is that a break? Patrick Schwarz, no interest in a transfer whatsoever. I don't even like him. I don't even think Patrick Schwarz is good. There, I said it. Do, 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 do. Yeah, you're, you know what, brother? You ain't very good. I respect the hell out of your hustle. I respect the hell out of your mindset. You ain't very good. Schwarz has no interest. We got to find a new muse. I have to find a new player to pine over, you know? Somebody whose poster I can put up on my wall and pray to. I, I mean, look at. He's good at using your bid to negotiate a new contract. Yep. Yep. Yeppers. PSG thinking about a $156 million move for Bellarmino Seca. No, I'm not kidding. You show up with a, you know, if I can get like the 220, 230 million type bid for him, I'm all over it. It's all you. I am all over it. We all know about the Pulisic poster you have in your bedroom, Raw. I, I mean, obviously. Do, 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 do. Okay, right. Zealand, it's Champions League. This requires pristine focus. So rested, it was Rodriguez. That's who I decided I wanted to start. George is all right. He's ready to play, even though he keeps getting like little tweaks, so he's never 100%. Jarrell Hato is also ready to rock. And all these guys should be good to play against Newcastle after four days um, of no matches. Love the fact that please don't just be Saudi teams, but it is. It is just Saudi teams that are still interested in Mickey Vandeven. They smell an opportunity. They have a great nose for opportunity. They just don't have the money that they used to have. Abicelli still has 27 days on his playing time promise. I imagine he'll be okay with that regardless. We're at home, so we're going to play pretty aggressive here. We're going to go with our bread and butter 4-2-3-1 uh, stepping up tactic. And we'll see how that goes. Okay. That's what I want to do. It looks like Xerxes is going to drop in, so... We have our team set up because we already set them up. We wanted to rest. Got a very important team talk, obviously. <sighs> Nomad, thank you for the 28 months. No, I would not sell Bellarmino Seca for $156 million. I would not do it. He's the best midfielder in the world. Um, and if I sold him, I would want to be able to get multiple great players. If I The amount I sold him for, I would want to be able to buy multiple of those like elite German players. For the favorites, I want us to play like it. Hell yeah, brother. Why Why does Rico not look inspired? I specifically requested that he be inspired. And he doesn't look inspired. And that sucks. Anyways.
Let's go, baby! All right, Champions League, match day two. Atletico Madrid against Tottenham. We got off to an amazing start. We won our pot one road game at AC Milan. And now we've got Atletico Madrid at home. If we come out of these two matches with six points, we might be able to rotate at the back end of our Champions League matches because these are uh, two of the hardest matches we have, obviously. Loving the way Kasper Gongstedt has played. That, that, dude, that bright green adaptability is no joke. He has stepped right into this and not missed a beat. He had one match where he had a 6.5, but he's just stepped in and been a rock-solid goalkeeper from the drop at 19 years old. Oh, bright green adaptability for the win. Radjevic. Oh, it's there. Mujahid Kaya! Nice. That's well done, lads. That's well done. Great ball as well by Regevich. His feel for the game. His movement and his vision are outstanding. His touch lets him down sometimes, but you got to have a flaw, right? Oh, score that. Endrick on free kicks, baby. He's so good. Oh. Damn those mosquitoes. Hey, man. It's Florida. You got to get used to it. Become one with the mosquitoes. Uh, but I, I, you know, Atletico's got it pretty packed in if we're looking at their average position. Their striker's right in the middle circle. Uh, we've, got them, we've got them absolutely hemmed in right now. Of course, this is where their highlight starts, but... Nice play, Bellarmino, Seca. Could use Gongstead there. That'd be a, one of those confident passes. Could turn into a Latvian own goal situation. Uh, that's optimistic. But we can get on to the second ball. All right, Indrik. I love the run Regevich just made. Just push that defense right back. Indrik, foul, ref, pen, clearly. Clear as day. Oh, Regevich. Oh, oh. Yeah, that would have been ridiculous. Unlikely. How many? We're in our ninth season, I believe. I believe we are in our ninth season of play. Since we uh, we started with no badges or playing experience, you know, didn't have a lot of street cred to my name. I'm now a five-star coach. I am absolutely a five-star coach. Definitely don't want to get complacent. This is Atletico Madrid. This is kind of what the... <gasps> The devil is here. Huh. Okay. The game decided to play the Champions League anthem upon re-entering. Why is that guy the devil? That's the worst falling out I've ever had with a player ever was Luka Verbancic. I mutually terminated Luka Verbancic while in the prim. That guy was impossible to sell. He did not want to go anywhere. And we ended up literally mutually terminating his contract because it was the best financial decision left. It was the one time, really, that I, in years in football manager, that I ended up in like a man management disaster. It was a complete meltdown. But it is imperative that we win this game now. 
Wow, Nice and Lille are the other top teams? Okay. I miss Kazu Kanda a little bit because there is a lack of quality going on from Endrick over there. Where's Mark? I actually could do that. I'm going to get Endrick out and then bring Mark up and then Rom Deuter him again because he was so good at it last time. The fluidity that Mark offers is actually amazing. Uh, Jenis Regevich could move up into the playmaker role because we've got an apparently nervous. No, I mean, even a nervous Bellarmino sec is better than basically having anybody else out there. Um, so I'm just going to bring in Marcelo Enrique. Uh, I don't really have any desire to make any other subs. This is a Champions League match. It's a one goal game. Not a lot of other moves that are taking my fancy. That's another corner. Thank you. Guy called Schwartz just scored for Leipzig against Barcelona. Never heard of him. And while I've never heard of him, I also heard that dude stinks. Uh, both of those things can be true. Both of those things are true. Make of that what you will. Yes. 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 Let's go. 6-8 winger. Definitely an unusual thing to see. Jao Felix back at Atletico Madrid. That feels unlikely. You're not going to take Mickey Vandeven for pace, but thank you for trying. Good pass. Way to change that level. Oh, Jakici. Good find. Marcelo Enrique. Oh, Rejevic. Oh, back for Rodriguez! Oh, what a lovely goal by Mark Rodriguez! Jenny's Rejevic and Mark Rodriguez, the future of this club, combining for a wonderful goal. What a player, J Box. Thank you for the prime. He's the truth. He's the business. He is legit. But really, Box, I appreciate you supporting the stream. Enjoy your lack of ads. That's important. And the fact that he just spent the first 55 minutes of this match playing ball winning midfielder and then can step to Romdeuter and combine to score a world class goal on like a, you know, a 1 2, basically. What a unique, gifted player. Okay, go into the middle, please. Pretty please, thank you. Anasio. Oh, Vandeven. Vandeven. Mickey. Oh, Mickey, you so far. Oh, he's 6 8. Oh. Code, thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate you supporting the channel. Enjoy your lack of ads, and thank you for spending $5 of Jeff Bezos' money. That's an important social contribution you've just made. Now, play the line. What are you doing? Play the... Oh, Seca. Oh, good. Squ how did we... Ha okay. Who's tired? I'm going to focus on that. Who's tired? That's what I'm going to focus on. Wow, we should have scored that goal. But, you know, whatever. Whatever. I basically don't even care. You know, the post is a pay. <laughs> the post is paid. Oh, oh yeah, Gonzalo Inacio showing off that passing range. All right, Rico, there are options here. Mark Rodriguez, Rejevich, Lewis. Oh, Marky Mark to tell. Kieran Tull! And they're absolutely flying now, 3-0 against Atletico Madrid. Mark Rodriguez with a goal and an assist. Baby Yoda, thank you for the three months. Thank you for supporting the stream. It's static. Thank you for the seven months. What's Mr. T's girlfriend's name? April Fool. I tried to do my best with that. That's a B. Mark Rodriguez is the truth. Yeah. I believe it. 
Which I guess in itself means he is the truth, because I believe I believe in the truth. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Thank you. You know what? What a performance. What a freaking performance that was, chat. Absolutely outstanding. 3-0 there against Atletico Madrid. I mean, wow. Wow. That was really impressive. I, I, you know, I, we when we saw the way the draw was set up and we had AC Milan away and then Atletico Madrid at home, we knew that was probably going to be a tough, um, be a tough matchup. Like, you know, it, but if we could get six points from those as our first two Champions League matches, uh, our next one is Red Star, and then we have Salzburg. Then there is Arsenal at home, and then we have Napoli away, and then Galatasaray and Real Sociedad both at home to end it. So, I mean, those legitimately are two of the three toughest matches that we had, I would say. And then Arsenal, and then Napoli, and then probably Sociedad. Arsenal's obviously... That's our home pot one match. That's a really tough match. They've won the Premier League five straight years. That is a very difficult uh, tie, but yeah, I know KOD is still suspended. I was just kind of hoping he wouldn't be. Thanks. The quad is still on. Yeah. Well, we're just hoping to finish top eight. Top eight in the Champions League is where it's at. It's what you need. You get straight into the round of 16 and you get a seeded draw for the round of 16. If you want to be a real serious team, you know, you want to be a serious contender, you need to get top eight. And so uh, that's what we're that's what we're aiming for. Two wins from our first two, including at AC Milan, is a great way to get top eight also. Win on the road. You want to get top eight? Win on the road. Last two fixtures are tasty. Yeah, the fact they're in January, it's like you 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 kind of get a break from you kind of get a break from the Champions League, and then all of a sudden it just reappears, and you're like, no, oh, okay. Do why do I have a recovery today? What happened to my uh, training? That's weird. Skoda's out of the Italy reckoning. Yeah, he's going to start to get upset about that if that continues. Not much I can do about it. I don't think there's any new surprises. Mark Rodriguez, I don't know if he's played for Germany. So that is a first call up for all Mark Rodriguez. Oh, he's getting faster. Oh, look out, world. He's getting faster. His acceleration and pace have now leveled out at 13. Our focus on improving his quickness to make him just an even more dangerous, massive human being is working. I like. I don't know if we'll be able to get it up to 16, but somebody with his skill set just getting faster. Any, like, I mean, literally anybody just getting faster as a player just makes them so much better. Oh, uh, what? Well, you know, Kelly, you should be getting more playing time to help him get into the national team setup. Um. Also, if anybody has any idea why the arrows aren't appearing on this screen, but they do appear on this screen, let me know. Love to. Uh, I'd love to know that. When's the next SYS? We actually just recorded it before I came down to Florida. So what does he want? I mean, hopefully Anasio is also Portuguese. Might be able to talk him out of this. What does he want? I need the playing time I was promised. Dude, you're literally... He's an impact sub, right? Is that what he... I mean, is he not playing that much? Actual... How is his actual... How is his actual playing time breakthrough prospect? He's appeared in four matches this year. We haven't even played 10 total matches this season. That's not impact sub.
I mean, he's actually playing. I don't understand the frustration here, man. He's he's actually playing games. A lot. I am uh I am surprised by the frustration here, but okay. Whatever, Brohim. Does he have a high ambition? I mean, I think clearly that him coming to me with that sort of point proves that he has a very high ambition. Like that his hidden attribute for ambition is is quite high and that he believes that he should be playing a lot. Canelio has no position training. Uh, love how when players get hurt, that just resets and doesn't tell you. Well, that sucks. Okay, well, it's one to two days. That doesn't suck that much. He'll be around this match. McAvoy being out three to four weeks sucks a bit. Okay, let's just go with individual, and then we'll highlight everybody, and then we should be able to see anybody that's not doing that because I'm assuming if one person's missing, a couple are missing. Where's Belkiar? Why did I not see that? Don't mind the bleeding. Do, 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 All right, now everybody's set. I think everybody was set up before, but easy. Maybe he's playing too much. I did. You know, you're right. I failed to consider that he might be playing too many matches and that's making him upset. He wants to be specifically an impact sub. Why did I not think of that? You know, dang it. I mean, he, uh, what, what am I doing? He's telling me exactly what he wants to do and I'm just overlooking it. I'm not even paying attention to it. All right, Newcastle, who I believe are a a Champions League team. Well, Bournemouth won again. I keep forgetting to look for Bournemouth on the results page, but Bournemouth did win again, which is incredible. They are 19 points from their first seven matches. Bournemouth literally unplayable. How's everybody doing? Rodriguez, it's a bruise, man. Get over it. Okay, Regevic, Endrick, Seca, Shigichi, Inacio Hato, Rico, Vandevin, Rodriguez spotting up as a ball winning midfielder. He should be fine. Now, you know what? I don't want to take any chances with Rodriguez that mess with anything. Marcelo Enrique is a very good player. If we can win this match without Rodriguez having to play through, even though I don't think it's a serious injury, I'm sure. The game at least considers it like worth, you know, it's, it's worth telling me about, even though it's a friggin' bruise, you know, apparently you can get worse and we don't want it to get worse. And we have a deep team with guys with talent and we're going to use it. We're going to friggin' use it. Okay. God. Zealand overview attributes the check progression box. Like that. I mean, that's just. Oh, dude, thank you. I appreciate that. I don't know why that was, like, unchecked. Also doesn't seem to have worked, but... Maybe if I uh, reload the skin. Thank you. I never, you know, I never knew that was there. Football manager teaches you something new every day. Man, sec is a beast? Yeah, he is. <laughs> Bellarmino Seca is the best midfielder in the world, dude. I, I am not, um, I ain't kidding. Who knows if it worked? Maybe it did. Maybe it didn't. We will see. Okay. We've got everybody set up, right? Yeah. We're going to, we're going to go out, look to control this match, make them chase us. They're already tired. I have one substitute outside the match squad. Yeah, well, clearly they're unavailable. Oh, it's Ingley and McAvoy. That would be why. Okay. 
at home against Newcastle. Not the easiest game. Newcastle's got some serious game, but we apparently owe them. So we're very inspired. We're ready to go. We're ready to rock and roll. Why is the camera even better now? <laughs> it's literally lower def. Maybe that's the key. I look better in lower definition. What do you guys think? How's the forehead look in lower D? Yeah. Looking sexy? Absolutely. Thank you. Is that Kurt? All right, let's go, boys. We had a good start to the season despite the fact that we got smacked at the Etihad. So let's just keep that going. Oh, Chigichi, bad tackle, man. Bad tackle there, George. Hendrick is a Romdeuter. Wait. Oh, you scared me, dude. I thought he was... Uh, and I don't want Hendrick playing as a Romdeuter. That is Mark Rodriguez, who's not a particularly good dribbler, and we want him to use his movement to create opportunities. Hendrick can run right by people. So we want to use that. Kieran, I'm loving the way you just push the ball up the field here, man. I am I am real I'm not being sarcastic. I, I love that. He just picks the ball up, moves the defense back, creates space for us to fill in. That is uh field control right there. This is a very good press as well. Bad angle from George Shikichi, who is normally a very good pressing winger. Took a bad angle. Okay. So that took a deflection, so that was very weird and could have been a super weird FM play. I'm just glad it didn't end up in the net. That's all I could say. Said 3-0 Spurs. I'm going for it. That would be ideal. That's over. All right, sweet. Your hairline is clapped, mate. Nah, dude, are you kidding me? This is, like, ideal. What do you mean? What do you mean? Was the uh, Kurt the Lord? I love I love Kurt. Kurt's awesome. Um, I, I according to the internet, I am bangable in a wispy sort of way. So that's what I put on my business card now is bangable in a wispy sort of way. Yeah. Could save, but I'd love to have held that, but whatever. Is it common for Americans to like football as much as you? It's not uncommon. There are plenty of Americans that I would say are even more into it than I am. Mainly because of my generally apathetic character, but like there, yeah, I mean, it, it is not uncommon at all. Hi, what's up, Tin Can? How you doing, dude? George Shigichi and Rico Lewis working on yellow cards. It's what they do. I'm not subbing him out 33 minutes in, but what is he doing, man? Six George has been terrible. Kieran Tall's not been far behind. We've not played a particularly inspiring game. In fact, they have actually been able to break our pressure pretty effectively, which is very rare. That has not happened to us a lot, particularly on this field. Oh, my goodness gracious. We're getting, we're getting outplayed now. Now we're, we're the ones getting pressed at home. Checking the rolls on their formation. Oh, Hendrick. Look for the pass. Look for the pass. Yes. George. Got to be. It is. We don't deserve it, but we do have it. It's 1-0. George the Hammer Shikichi. A lightning strike of a counterattack from Tottenham Hotspur. Oh, that was the pass from Kieran. Then Hendrick just made the smart play here. Literally have multiple options. Shikichi wants it. He's a good finisher. Puts that one to bed like a child. 
Now to counteract the pressing, we can pass through it. Uh, I think we might. Oh, Shigichi. Dude, literally always. When does he not pick up a knock? It's never that bad. We'll get him off at halftime, but I'd just love for him to actually be fully match sharp. She's had a bit of a sputtery fitness start to the season. Oh, Kieran. Kieran tolls in. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, man. You have got to be finishing that off. That is, he did such good work to body off the defender and create a clean 1v1. Who played that pass? Whose pass was that? Oh, Max, thank you for the 18 months, dude. I'm so glad that Zeeland's a spur. I'm glad he'll deliver what he said. Zeeland said to me, you know, we'll win the Premier League. You know, he said so. And I'm in love with him and I'll be fine. Oh, that sounds like a, like a, you've modified a Spurs song for me. And if that's the case, I really appreciate it. We're going to, we, we are, we are out here to try and do just that, my dude. We're out here to try and do just that. All right. Collapse on that. Good, Mickey. Good play, Mickey. All right. Now we, whoa, work the line. Work the line. Yes, George. Scored the goal. Uh, you're never scoring that. Like, you're literally never scoring that. Why are you doing that? It's the cop's clop tune. Oh, nice. They have a lot of songs for him, if I remember right. All right, let's get his butt off. We know that he uh, he can't handle the truth, you know? It's going to be Mujahid Kaya. I like the cut again on that side. Um, I'll actually just get Kieran Tell as well. So, no, we won't do Mujahid Kaya. We'll just get Kieran Tell and bring in McIntosh and live the life we're living right now. Vandevin got a yellow? Dang it, man. Take the get stuck in off. Okay, we do have Mark Rodriguez. I've got that in the back of my mind. Marcelo Enrique has been fine. He's been very serviceable. Okay, don't get complacent here. Definitely not. I'll stay in this to see if we can get a good jump to start the second half. If we don't, I'm very quickly back in this truck back up. If we don't get a good jump, I'm back in the truck. I'm backing up. We're going to go into our 4-3-3. We're going to go into our match control, right? I think that's what they called the Arsenal Man City match. It's match control. It's not parking the bus. Match control. Match management, really. Oh, Hendrik, you're scaring me. You're spooking me, Hendrik. Oh, Marcelo Enrique. Great spidey sense on defense there. Regevich. Oh, let's go. A really good job of keeping that ball in. That sucks. Ooh, Radjevic. Hendrik. How many Germans do I have? Kaya, Shikichi, Rodriguez. I have three. I wanted more, but I have three. There's some great Germans out there. Oh, he's off, but he probably isn't, given the way this highlight's going. Vandevin, gotta be. Oh, but he didn't actually head it anywhere. He just touched the ball. What's the point? Oh, yes. That is the athleticism of Jarrell Hato on that recovery. Good pass. McIntosh. That is stupid, dude. You should run. You should attack that space and not try to force that pass, especially on the tempo that we're on. Oh, let's go! Kaya! Goal! Yeah, sure, dude. I'll, I'll take that. What year is it? What are you, in Back to the Future? Uh, it's, uh, 20, it's 2031. Nice play by Regevic. Mujahid Kaya's there. Chef's kiss. They're not playing out of our press in the second half, dude. Not on my watch. Regevic, Kaya. Kaya continues to make a compelling argument that he's the best striker on this team. Not that he had a lot to do with that, but... Scoring goals. That's scoring goals. The campaign will only grow for Muchaid Kaya to start over Kieran Tall. Even though Kieran Tall's, like, obviously a good player. Not been sharp recently, and that's why we have, you know, multiple starters at each position, as we like to say. I don't have that yet, but... 
Bro, that ain't good. That ain't good, brother. Uh, that ain't good. Oh, no. How do we not block that? Got two guys, like, throwing their whole body at it. I have th three yellows on defense here. It's kind of freaking me out. We'll get Vandevin out. I'm going to get Rosales in for Jarrell Hato. Oh, they are pressing, though. That could be a problem. We'll just do uh, two defensive subs to help us hang on to this game, you know, with a 2 0 lead. Probably should switch. Sandro Tonali. Pretty sure he's a myth, anyways. Probably should switch because I'm not. Can you know we've been better in the second half, but I'm still not convinced at our ability to to do what we're trying to do here. Uh, Seca, advanced playmaker, and we'll just go ahead and bring in um, Mark Rodriguez for the last like 15 minutes of this game, mainly because we like Mark Rodriguez, but also. I think Bellarmino Seca's... No, we'll do Belchior. Belchior makes more sense here. Go get him, Tiger. You want all that playing time. Can NC State win it all? No, but it's really fun that they're in the Final Four. Purdue and UConn are going to win, and then we're going to have an amazing championship game. I think we might get two blowouts in the semifinal. Uh, they are the sixth seed, uh, sixth 11 seed to ever make the Final Four, I believe. Uh, NC State, that is. The the 11 seed, the five previous 11 seeds have never won their final four game, let alone the national title. So the evidence is not great for being able to withstand the amount of media pressure that you get as a final four Cinderella, is what that tells me. So I think we're going to get an incredible title game between Purdue and UConn, honestly. Oh, the gangster himself. Gang, gang. Hendrick. That would be a very harsh penalty call. But also, game's gone. Wow, Rico got work there. Rico Lewis, defense, dude. Defense. I'm just glad Duke lost. I'm always glad Duke lost. What do you reckon's going up the championship this season? It's kind of crazy what's happening to Leicester, though, for real. I'm glad that we're up by a couple goals so I can talk about this. It's kind of crazy. Oh, get in. Leicester's blowing it, man. Big time. I'll tell you what. I don't think Ipswich is going to make it. I hope they are. I don't know if there's matches going on right now. I saw somebody come in and say Ipswich earlier, but that's a good win. Newcastle's a team that's playing Champions League ball right now. Uh, it's a very good result. A few too many yellow cards for my liking, but that's a good win. It's gonna, you know, anytime you're playing one of the big seven, there's six other teams besides us. That includes Newcastle, right? They've won a Champions League in this save. You got to be on your guard because they've got the quality to, you know, beat anybody on their day but at home we've handled business but uh, my guess would be uh leads for sure uh, i think leads is a for sure bet and like i i don't think lester's gonna bottle it i realize they've bottled it to this point well, let's pull up the championship table real quick i i realize they bottled it to this point but okay so lester did win today uh, Ipswich, I'm assuming that's why somebody was shouting. Oh, they beat Southampton. That's a huge win. Oh, in the 97th minute. Oh, that's the, that's the beauty of the game. Hello. 97th minute. Cause Southampton's the fourth team that had a shot at this, at, at the automatic stuff. So now Ipswich is top of the league. Uh, Lester and Leeds with a match in hand. Unfortunately, though, I'm a believer in parachute payments and the fact that Leicester and Leeds, they've got much better teams. I think Leicester and Leeds are going to reel Ipswich in. I'm very sorry to Ipswich fans.
Even though I wanted Purdue to win, UVA Purdue is my favorite game I've ever seen. Yeah, I, I died and came back to life about five times during that game. Um, Carson Edwards played the best game of any player I've ever seen. It's one of the one of my incredible human experiences watching UVA win that game to make the Final Four. Uh, who do you think is winning the Bundesliga? There is only one acceptable answer to that question. Any other answer should land you in a psych ward. It's Bayer Leverkusen. They're up 13 points with seven matches to go. They have to win three of their last seven matches, right? And that's that. Rainstorm, thank you for the 18 months. So I think, actually, I think Leicester and Leeds. I think Leicester and Leeds are going to take the two automatic spots, and Ipswich is going to have its heart broken in the playoff. And it'll probably be Southampton, right? Like, even though Ipswich just won that match, now, if I was king of the world, I would send Ipswich up. I would send uh, I would send Jamie Vardy back to the Prem. Did I close it? Oh, I did close it. I'd send Jamie Vardy back to the Prem in the second spot. I'd make Leeds spend another year down here, and I would send West Brom up just to get some, you know, West Brom hadn't been up in a little while. Chikichi pulled a back muscle. He'll be okay by the end of uh, by the end of this break that we're hitting. And now we hit the break. Ye old international duty and massive break here in September to reset after a good start to the season. And we are only behind, you guessed it, Bournemouth. But we have won six of our first seven matches, including at home against Newcastle and away against Leeds, which are on the tougher side. We lost away against Man City. Um, we do have a batch of big time matches kind of coming up later. Should I schedule a friendly? I feel like I maybe should. I don't know. Maybe it's just long international duty. Everybody will be fine. We've got, you know, some reserve matches. I get everybody out of out of this. If you're uh you're around the team and your match sharpness does not exist, I do want you to be playing. I do want you to be playing in this. Thank you. Anybody else? Mark Rodriguez is hurt, so we'll have him sit out. But you guys. You go get you some time. You got it. What do I think? Who do I think will win the Premier League? Manchester City. I'm like, they've won it for the last five years. It is all within a match. Uh, I think Arsenal is closer than they were. I think Liverpool is going to be cooking, right? Because they've got the whole Jurgen Klopp plot armor thing going on. But you got to, you got to take the crown. Manchester City expects to win. Liverpool and Arsenal hope they can win the league this year. Uh, I, I'm a like, I think that experience is what won Manchester City the league last year, and I think it's going to make it very, very hard um, for for them. You know, I think I think Manchester City with that type of edge and how they know they can get the job done, and they don't want to give it up and all that. I think they could win their last nine. Piers, thank you for the tier one, dude. Now, who do I hope? Who do I hope wins? I honestly don't know. I think, obviously, you're not hoping Manchester City wins. I mean, they've won it for the last five years. They've had plenty of Premier League wins. I think both stories, I think Klopp riding off into the sunset and Arsenal winning the league, um, like for the first time since, you know, dinosaurs walked the earth, I think both of those would be cool. Um, I, I don't really know who I would want. But I do think that, like, the issue, the number one issue is that Manchester City just had, like, that team and those players just know what it what it takes and what it's like to win the league. I think the dog just tried to get in. Honey, dear, dear. All right, Javi Guerra. Abfall Games, thank you so much for the uh, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you for supporting the stream. There's Rovation. Land Day, thank you for the 34 months as well. Thank you guys for supporting the stream. That and Land Day for doing it for a long time. Enjoy your lack of uh, uh a lack of ads and all that fun stuff. Chelsea fan, I really want Liverpool to win. I hate City and Arsenal not winning for so long is very funny. Yeah, I mean I I get that. Arsenal not winning for a long time is very funny. Oh, let me no, 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 yeah, let me no. 
Please let dog in. We actually got, uh, my parents got a, a, a cat recently. I could try to go find the cat. There's Yvonne Alves. You know, we might have the money to go after Yvonne Alves this off season. Sorry, I keep saying this off season like it's not literally January that I'm talking about. Because I am. I am talking about January. Uh... Yeah, no, 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 no. Previously scouted, Marin Shalina is on the loan list. Is that just this? What this whole thing is going to be is previously scouted players on loan lists. It would appear. It would appear so. My greatest fear has come true. Previously scouted players being added to loan lists. Yeah, I wanted to give these younger guys maybe the benefit of the doubt. Maybe their potential ability was hiding. I don't think that's the case with most of these guys. So we'll just eat them. Uh, da, 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 da. We got a cousin stream before a second pet stream. To be fair, my cousins came in specifically to scare me on stream. And they did a very good job of that. My terrible spatial awareness, I literally did not even see them until they were to the right of my face. And the door is that way. And I did not see them until they were over here. So have you ever wanted to sneak up on me? Turns out, not that hard. Turns out. Upon further investigation, pretty easy. Probably could not be a secret agent which is heartbreaking for my childhood self. But I will, uh, let me get through this scouting report real quick, and I will go see if I can find La Kitty. His name is Boggs. He is an adventurous young lad. And he actually has his cat towers like right next to the, my streaming setup because my mom's office is right over there. She does work from home, so she'll just like hang out on the cat tower. Maybe we can get him to hang out with us for a little while. Enrique Portonoy. He's getting better. I think that guy's potential is real. It's just a very, very long way to have to go. Okay, let's go see if we can find the kitty. I'll be back in a second. Oh. Hello, chat. This is Boggs. Hello, kitty. Where are you going? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Very small. Uh, oh, he's burrowing. Hold on. Boggs, I've got to show you off real quick, and then you can go to the tower. All right, bud? Just real quick. This is Boggs. He is uh, currently admiring the lights. Well, hello, Boggs. Oh. Okay, we're going on. Hey, hey. He really wanted to go to the tower. He hasn't been allowed near the tower because I'm staying in this room. Nick, thank you for the 39 months. But yes, that's Boggs. Very nice of him to come on the stream. Yes. Uh, he's like a couple months old. Uh, yeah. Is he allowed to go outside? No, he's actually just an indoor cat. 
Oh, Festia Bazzelli got hurt. That's good, though. That actually means his playing time promise is probably going to be met. Are you serious? It's locked as unhappy, and then he got hurt, so it's going to continue. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Whatever. Actually, yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to extend his playing time promise. I guess we. I, what did we miss by one? He plays internationally. Where's Festia Bazzelli? Surplus to requirements. How? Like, who is me? Who is a prey? Like, he's played four matches. Who is appraising that as surplus to requirements, man? How many kitty bears can uh, Boggs have on uh, a flight? I don't even know what those are, dude. Here, I gotta go close the door. I was a weird looking dog. No, we have two dogs too. Um, so my parents have two dogs. I don't have any animals up in New York. Not really a place for them to like run around or do stuff. PSG's really making a lot of noise about Bellarmino Seca. We might have a spicy January. Cog, thank you so much for raiding in, dude. Hope you had a good stream. 22 days off. Yeah, it's a beefer of an international window. And then you kind of just. I don't know. Hang out. Garnacho wants to stay. Foster's. Yeah, look, dude, I've got a quite a long break here. Indrik. Oh, Marcelo Enrique called up to the Brazil. I guess he already has two caps. I didn't freaking know that. Indrik is a regular, though, in the Brazilian national team. Hector Gamera getting into the Argentine team despite not playing at all is still wild to me that that guy just gets into the Argentine team. It makes absolutely no sense. Good stream, three points off the top after beating top of the league. That You'll take that. Obviously, rather be top, but you'll take that. Mark Rodriguez just made his international debut. The absolute beast himself. But how am I getting on? I'm doing all right. Uh, yeah, just streaming from the home setup this week, which is fun. Been able to see and catch up with a lot of family and all that. Oh, wait, where I'm about to get paid 15 million is Jamie Donnelly needs to make one more international appearance and I make $15 million. That's nice. Where's the Donnelly transfer? Oh, we also are getting installments. Next international appearance, and then there is the profit thing on Alfie Divine. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of money around, plenty of money around coming in. Jamie Donnelly transfer. Hangfire? Yo, not seen that name in a long time. But how are things going? They're going great, dude. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. How good's Jamie Donnelly in your save? He's a freaking animal. Uh, but he was sold before I got here. He was sold before I uh, before I got to the team. Uh, if he shouldn't use his weaker foot? No, I don't know, dude. His weaker foot's fine. His weaker foot be fine, brother. Raise Simone Skoda's asking price. I mean, would he be upset if I raised it to 87 million? No. Okay, we'll raise it to 87 million. Jamal Bailey increases asking price. Okay, 25 million, I, I guess, is the asking price for Jamal Bailey. I'll take my staff's recommendation for it. We're not in a transfer window. Doesn't really matter that much. We can see if teams are actually interested in uh, them at that asking price. It'd be nice. I'm assuming Regevich is just getting better. Not dramatically, but... We're just focusing on ball control, which is a weird thing to be focusing on for a playmaker, but he has bad touch, relatively bad touch. So Karen Tall is now scoring goals for the English national team. That's nice. We like that. 
But I hope you've been well, Hangfire. That is, it's cool to see you. Do I think City's going to win the treble again? Dude, Wally, goodness gracious, man. <sighs> Wally. Wally. But no, no, I don't. They'll probably win the Champions League. I don't think they're going to get a cup to get, get the cup again. It's really hard to win the treble for a reason. It doesn't happen a lot. Uh, Kiss and Jacob is not playing. That's a problem. He seems quite upset. It'd be a real shame if I just didn't care. Although I will threaten, I, I, I did threaten the coach. Just some light, you know, you'll be swimming with the fishes if you don't give him the playing time we want sort of nonsense. Pretty standard, honestly, I feel like. Why would all these crazy people be making promises that they can't keep, you know? I'll just recall him in January and we'll send him somewhere else. You won't even get to keep him on your team. To be honest, so Kiss and Jacob does suck. So I kind of see where he's coming from. He does suck. But a promise is a promise. It was a pinky promise. All right, guys, not that good. Oh, hello. Hello. Do, 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 do. Warren, Sire, Emery, Kobe, Minu, Matisse, Tell, Gabrielle, Miss Howie. This is all beautiful. Uh, chat, what do you think? City, treble, you guys got any takes on that? Why are my players keep getting injured? Uh, well, I mean, a lot of it's down to luck, obviously, but it has to do with how many matches they're playing and how intense their training is. That's what determines the odds of them getting injured. You obviously still lose, and they can just get hurt anyways, but if somebody in particular is getting hurt a lot or maybe you're having big injury issues, lower the intensity of your training for a bit. Especially if you're using, like, my or anybody else's really intense, like, training regime, like, training regimen. You don't want to do that. Uh, you, you do not want to do that. Gongstead, it's impressing. Oh, yes. My goalkeeper is rolling his playing time in the Premier League into being a boss for the Danish national team as well. Yeah, if you don't do the preseason, right, if you don't do the preseason training that we recommend, then your team's not prepared to handle this level of training over the course of the season, so you will get hurt more. You got to start this, sorts of, this sort of training with a preseason, and then kind of carry your team through on that. And then you're good. And then you're fine. Can I get that one more first team appearance for Jamie Donnelly? That'd be awesome. Regovic was almost young player of the month. Canelio's free kick was third for goal, uh, goal of the month. I was almost manager of the month. A lot of fun things happening in Tottenham land here. Do I have a preseason vid somewhere? It's part of our training video series that we did last year. Training didn't change much from last year to this year, so definitely something I'd recommend taking a look at. Uh, it still applies. You know, we still train the same way, get around the same amount of injuries. Um, there are certain players that maybe you want to put half-intensity training on them as well. That's something that you might want to have a look out for, uh, where you go in and, you know, you set their individual training intensity to half. You also want to make sure that, you know, these players, like when you go to the rest screen, I really do no pitch and gym work at all until we get here, and then we double intensity when players are fully fit. So we can maximize on the uh, development, but let players rest and recover. You know, they don't even show up to training if they're really tired. Hey, we're making money. I said, hey, we making money. That's $15 million right there from the Jamie Donnelly transfer. And we have $123 million. So that was actually a treat there from Zinedine and Zidane. Jamie Donnelly's transfer was pretty well negotiated, turns out. Kazu Kanda's back. Festi Ebizele won't be back. McAvoy will be back, though. Shikichi's back as well. I wonder if he got called. I think he got called up by Germany anyways. Dude, how many goals is Kieran Tell scoring? Are you kidding me? 
How many goals? Dude, kinda resumes full training. What was that? You know, three, uh, yeah, four hours later. Bruises his knee in training. You have enough for Schwarz? Yeah, I will. But he's 131 million, and I don't think he's worth 131 million, as long as that's not bad. You bruise his shin, that's fine, man. You're playing matches, that's going to happen. Just don't want uh, torn or broken. Glass cannon. I like Kazu, but he also broke his leg last year and then got a month-long injury in the early part of this season. He's registered for the Champions League this year. We can't be doing that nonsense. Speaking of which, we do have... Okay, Red Star will rotate for us. So we're going to go starters, backups, uh, starters, probably rotate, starters, backups, starters, and then international break. Okay, so we have a pretty clean rotation once we get out of this break. That's great. Great news. Huge. Loan out a goalkeeper and get an English sub goalkeeper in. They're not cheap, dude. The, the, the play at the level that don't suck for us. Happy to see George impressing. Yeah, I'm always happy to see George impressing. Spent $100 million on the guy because we know he's a star, but... You know, raise that reputation. That could make us even more money if we ever sold him on, or at the very least, sells more shirts. It's also going to make him ask for more money, but that's just something that's probably going to happen either way, if we're being honest. Okay. So we are uh, all set up with our training. Norwich away, they're bottom of the league. Feels a little mean that we're about to roll in with the back or the starters here, but win in Rome, you know. All right, Kazu Kanda, you need to freaking play. Also, Ingley and McAvoy, welcome back. Get on. Oh, it's the ZFL trophy. Oh, dude, this is the Pizza Cup. I'm gonna I'm gonna play a few more guys. Actually, uh, interesting that you bring that up. That this is a Pizza Cup match because I have a few players, perhaps like not Rico Lewis, but Jash and Colombo and McIntosh, that all seem to be uh, fit as a fiddle and ready to play. All of a sudden, we don't know how that happened. Little 20 eccentricity, five-star potential goalkeeper. I I see you. I see you. Abdul Rahman Al Mutairi. No, Shady Yunus. Just never got a good vibe from this guy. You know, he was always. Shady. He was all he was always shady. And I had to, all right? Somebody had to bite the bullet and make the joke. I'm willing to sacrifice myself so that you guys don't have to. I am, I, you know, some may call it chivalry. Some may. Well, what it is, defi it, it is, you know, some may call it is chivalry. I'm willing to fall on that joke so you don't have to say it. The first team is about to roll up and beat some 20-year-olds for their lunch money in the pizza cup. I freaking hope. Dude, the money amount is going up for Seca. All right, you want me to... Uh, what asking price would he let me set? So 375 is a little high. I understand that. I get that. Please stop me somewhere in the twos. Stop. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Two hundred two million PSG. Time to buck your ideas up. Bellarmino Seca scored a goal for Portugal. We love to hear it. All right, now we dominate Oxford in the EFL trophy. Please, the pizza cup. This is mine. That's too low. Uh, probably. I kind of want to see if they would stay interested, though, if it's that high. Did we win? I forgot to look. What is Paul McIntosh doing? 
dropping a 6.2 against Oxford United. Kazu Kanda, don't think I didn't see you drop a 6.7 like you're not a first-team player. Luka Jash at a 6.1. We lost 3-1 and we're probably out. Uh, we need to win and we need to hope Oxford United wins. That could send us through, but that is terrible, dude. That is terrible. Brutal. Hate that. Absolutely hate that. We sent extra guys in there, and we still didn't win. Bro, I don't know if you're ever recovering from a 6.2 as, like, a good Premier League player against Oxford United, and you just lay down a 6.2. That is, that is abysmal. Okay. Lejeuze, you always have a good match to play. We're going to send you out there on Saturday. You're skipping match practice training, and you're playing. So they still interested. It's been a couple of days. See, uh, quick pick and definitely put him in the team. There he is. They are still interested at a $202 million asking price. His transfer value is at 252. So I am going to go back to unspecified as an asking price because I don't want to have them offer that exact amount and not let me negotiate it. I want to have a negotiable offer where we can get a transfer that's like well over 200 million. I'm looking Neymar type money if they want Bellarmino Seca. All right. Hey, guess what? Takeover rumors are back after that quick transfer embargo during the transfer window. I thought that said two months. Two weeks with pulled ankle ligaments. I can live with that. That's good. We'll take a draw there. Oh, why I get to play? I just get the week off. I had this last year, too. Ultimo Big Truck, thank you for the 30 months. Thank you for supporting the stream, dude. And thanks for doing it with $5 of Jeff Bezos' money. Bournemouth at their top? Yeah, it's a bit of a mirage right now. We'll see how good they are. I hope it's the Hong Kong guy. I freaking hope. But it didn't say it was like a tycoon or anything. Maybe when we get more information, it'll be the Hong Kong guy. We'll be in business. But I, I don't think so. I don't think so. Just like on Sunday? True. Liverpool Arsenal. The nil-nil. Just hope, you know, every, every time the big teams play, we want to draw. We want them all canceling each other out, and then we can fly away with our ability to win matches. Do, 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 do. Love the meme videos. Keep doing them. Corin, of course. I do. We do one every month to highlight the best memes in the Zealand subreddit. Of course, we're going to keep doing it. Uh, okay. Anybody lacking match sharpness? Obviously, Vandeven, who's one of our collection of glass cannons, out for two weeks at the moment. Should have a good amount of general team fitness going on. Bestie Ebizele is about to get mad at me for his lack of playing time. But to be fair, I haven't had a, uh... I haven't had a match in, like, 20 days, so hard to blame me for that. So who's in this? Javi Guerra, Kazu Kanda, obviously. Trying to work him back. Yeah, look, man, you got hurt. You got hurt, and there was no other opportunity to play you to turn that around, and I'm frustrated that we have to do it again, but we will. Any April Fools today? No. I mean, uh, I, I, you know, we didn't kick up any giant bits of foolishness. I don't think we're going to do any with, like, the Zealandisms either. Like, we just, you know, nothing. I got to take over once. I got 200 mil. If that happens for me, I know exactly who I'm buying. Just 
putting that out into the ether. If any particular Hong Kong billionaires happen to hear me, that would be fine. I know exactly who I'd be buying if we happen to get, give or take, 800 million, which was allegedly what they were willing to invest towards player purchases if they Miles bought the club. Please. But, you know, Daniel Levy didn't quite like the valuation they were presenting because Daniel Levy is in the anti-fun coalition and has decided to just make everything difficult. Granted, we've maintained a financially sustainable club. Thank goodness. And we have eventually moved over 100% of the uh, transfer revenue retention and eventually gotten our junior coaching and youth recruitment and all of our facilities the highest level possible. Emphasis on eventually. But whatever. Luke, thank you for the nine months. Oh, yes, you do have a Twitch child now, so I am supposed to be on child support. <sighs> Dude, I will so get you next month. I will so get you next month. I'm sorry, that's not the award I think it is, right? FIFA best under 20 men's play under 21 men's player is Simone Skoda. Bro, he isn't even playing right now. But please tell me what I'm seeing. What I'm uh, Regevich finished third also. What I'm seeing is that there should be some serious interest in Simone Skoda for a lot of money, which could turn us into transfer titans. He just won under 21 player of the world. Best one. He did have a good year last year, but that's insane that that happened. City and Chelsea. I'll take that, man. That's a draw. I take that. We know Manchester City is going to be involved. We know Arsenal is going to be involved. We don't know if Bournemouth's going to be able to sustain what they're doing. Maybe they can. Maybe they can't. All right, Rico. They're going Mark Rodriguez in the back line here, which is kind of a psycho move. We love a good psycho move. Uh, we're going to go Belchior Canelio because I don't think he's registered for the Champions League. So we're just going to slide Bellarmino second down here and then have... Um, uh, Yeah, we're going to do that. I'm going to move Rodriguez up here. We do want to start full first team, so we're going to go with Doig. Rico, Casper, Hato, Inacio, Doig, Canelio, Rodriguez, Indrik, Seca, Shikichi, and Mushait Kaya, I'm thinking. Thinking that might be our move. All right, Festi Abazele still not cleared. Stuff out there. Coyote and McAvoy are suspended. Vandevin is injured. Kazukanda is at least hanging around. So we've got Skoda, McIntosh, Kanda. That's what we need. Yeah. Okay. That's our bench. That's our first team. Belchior Canelio getting his opportunity to prove himself. I do actually like Belchior Canelio, so it's not like a crazy thing that we're doing, sending him out there. Who's not sharp? Though Gamera can play, Colombo can play, England McAvoy, you can play. Kazu Kanda can go ahead and get 45 minutes, but I do want him to at least be able to run like 30 minutes in this match against Norwich. Please and thank you. Why am I selling Skoda? He's my third best striker. I like him. I I like that's the reason I was playing him last year, but he's also, you know, he is my third best striker. 
And when your third best striker is worth potentially 80, 90 million, it is wise to, dude, you just got back, England. At least attempt to be a part of the team this year and don't just be hurt the entire season. You just got back. Rom Doder, center back is Guardiola Insanity. Yeah, I know. Mark Rodriguez can play striker, Rom Deuter. He can play a ball-winning midfielder, a center mid on attack, and center back, and he can be good in all of those roles. It is impossible to overstate how awesome it is to have a guy like that. All right, there's Feste Abazele, um, who we, pl we plan on satisfying his, you know, match requirement, his playing time requirement for his happiness. All right, everybody should be good. We're also playing the worst team in the league, so I'm going to come out here. And you know what? We're actually going to rest Bellarmino Seca. We're going to take Rodriguez and stick him up there. And we are going to go with... Can Canelio play any defense? Not really. I think what we might do is play, like, the most offensive thing of all time. We'll just go Seca, Canelio. No, that's just stupid objectively just a dumb thing to do. We'll go Guerra. He's fine. He can play. But no, canelio has got to play. Dang it. Okay, fine. Canelio, you start. And we should be okay because we are playing. We're playing a very bad team. We're playing a very bad team at home. We're going to go out there with the right amount of confidence. We're going to do it. For the favorites, I want us to play like it. Should be obvious. We're not at home. Totally forgot that. The best bit he can be moved mid-match. Yes, that is so useful. And then I, got, I have a guy that's playing at striker that, like, if a center back gets hurt, I can just pop him back and bring another striker in. Very, very uh, ease. Like, a lot of ease. A lot of ease of movement. Ease of life. Quality of life outstanding. Oh, Spendy. Our first look at newly promoted Norwich. El Hog debut? Maybe. Without Vandevin and without uh, Festi Ebisele and without Michael Coyote, we do have that need for defenders on the bench that Benel Hodges is... There to satisfy. Yeah, that's fine. I don't hate that. I think I've had this player before. Jaden Bogle. I think he was a part of the Taunton save, actually. Not a lot. Obviously, a smaller part of it, but... Royal Team, thank you for the prime, dude. Thanks for supporting the stream. Chuck Norris wears Mark Rodriguez pajamas. Sounds believable. They are pressing me. Wow. All right, dude. Send it. Javi Guerra. Oh, my goodness. They actually press me off the ball. Come on. Be all right. They're coming out with a lot of energy. They're playing at home. You know, they're playing against uh, one of the big clubs. They're excited they're having this opportunity. We just got to weather that storm. We'll be fine. They are passing the space design. Their line is so high. Their line is really high. We need to do, we need to just play it into space to the four guys that we have across the front and we'll eat them alive. Belchior, oh, Shikichi. That's right. Oh, come on. They're calling Kaya for an offside. He wasn't even screening the keeper. He was off to the side. I looked. Yeah, that's been a boring match so far. Play the line. Oh, yeah. Yo, 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 yo. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try and get Doig involved a little more. That left side seemed to open up really well for him. 
Put him on that wing back so he can carry the ball, attack that space more. Ooh. I really just love playing Jarrell Hato at right center back because it drives some people's OCD absolutely through the roof. We also just have two really good left-footed center backs. Oh, is he not on? Oh, nice header. Javi Guerra. He can make this play. Indrik. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Dude, we gotta we gotta take one of these here. Oh, nice play, Mark. Kaya! Oh no! Off the freaking line. Okay. Sure, man. All right, Canelio, show me something. Indrik, Kaya, Doig drifting into the space. Oh, Doig, Doig, Chigichi. We're going to mod creating two new leagues and teams and people based on the anime Inazuma 11. Any tips for things to look out for? I've, I've never seen that anime, but I, that sounds like a cool idea for a mod. No, I'm not somebody with any experience modding. The forums on SI are fantastic for that, and I find that people that do create large databases are also very helpful on Twitter if you reach out to them. Um, and they, you know, if you ever get stuck on something, it might be nice to find somebody that made a database that you like already and just kind of ask them how they dealt with a particular issue. Oh, let's go! That's the most Brexit goal I've ever scored. Flick on header. Oh. Just a looping cross to the tall guy, flick on header to the speedy short guy who gets to the end of it. I can hear Rule Britannia in the background as this ball flies in. Just a lovely, a header in, header again. Beautiful. I forgot the cross was a header too. What a gorgeous goal. Endrick to Mark Rodriguez gives Kaya a chance. We just wanted it more, you know? We just wanted it more. That's all determination. Oh, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Hey, hey. Thank you. Yeah, nice, Gara. Oh, Jackie Chi. Dude literally thinks scoring a goal is hitting the player in front of him, I swear. There you go. Good. Good carry. Shades of Aldrikas. He is very influential. I think he does better than his 17 jumping reach. I think because players don't leap every time now in, in FM24, I feel like height, being taller, might just make your jumping reach a little more effective. You can reach the same height when everybody's jumping, but you're already like, when you don't jump, you're still huge. You know what I mean? When you don't jump, you're still massive. And I feel like that helps in those highlights where guys don't actually jump. How many new gens are in my starting 11? Uh, this starting 11 particularly... Indrik is real. Javi Guerra is real. Neither of my strikers are real. And Belchior Canelio is not real, but neither is Seca. Gongstead, my keeper, is not real. So we've got Ignacio, that would be three. Jarrell Hato would be four. Doeg would be five. Rico Lewis would be six. So my whole defense, one midfielder and one of my forward four. Are, are So six of the 11 are real players. Five of the 11 are new gents. Oh, go, Hendrick. One of the reels. Snaps. Snaps. Is that, Pete, is that like Peter Crouch YouTube vid where he's against 11 defenders? He just, he, he doesn't need to jump. Yeah, I mean, Rodriguez is taller than Peter Crouch. He's an inch taller. 
Oh, that's got to be. That was a good spot. Good job staying up. Good job winning the header. Good pass. Yes, I, I did a video, I think, two years ago now, where we had a bunch of 4'11 guys against a bunch of 6'11 guys, but they all had 20 jumping reach. And the 4'11 guys held their own. It was, like, dead even. You know, there was no difference from being 4'11 or 6'11. But I feel like since then they've kind of added these animations, or, like, they've added the idea to the match engine that you don't j j elevate all the way. And in that case, being 6'11 would obviously be much more helpful. Short. Oh, that's a sick delivery. It's good goalkeeping. Dude, bent it like Beckham. Lived up to the movie title. Would love a second goal, though, because all the, all the fireworks and the dominance here, it is 1-1. All the 27 shots we've just clattered off defenders. Or not. I mean, we could just not. I'm going to stay in the aggressive tactic. We don't want to invite them to come forward. Maybe we can switch to that. Uh, uh, no, we'll stay in this. Why is Bellarmino Seca nervous? That is dumb. That is stupid, and it should not happen. Okay, we're going to go to this. Seca's coming in for Guerra. Rodriguez is going back to ball winner. Uh, Kazu Kondas coming in at right wing. McIntosh. No, George Takichi's fine. Canelio will stay in that spot. We're just going to... This is more of a match controlling tactic than the other one. So we will, we will do this instead. Um, Rico, our captain, Rico Lewis, is nervous. I don't like that. I'm going to bring in Francisco Rosales, who's also nervous. All I said was we're supposed to beat a bad team, guys. It wasn't supposed to be, like, the most dramatic event of your life. All I said is we're supposed to win. Has Kanda developed with all the injuries? Oh, uh, yeah, he's actually improved some. Uh, he does, his potential does look to be pretty legit when he's, when he's playing. And he's also, he's played pretty well. He's gotten comfortable. I think he speaks English now, so this is a year where hopefully a breakout is is on tap. I, I didn't think he had huge injury issues, but he has had issues with injuries. You feel me? Nice, Terrell Hato. Well, let me know Seca, Mushaid Kaya, pretty obvious ball here. Kazukanda. Oh, oh, and it's Mark! I worried me. He's on a yellow back there. Hato diving in like that on a yellow. All right, Rodriguez, Kazu going for Rodriguez, pulling the strings. It's looking beautiful. Doig, Kazu, somebody, Kaya, Seka, literally anyone. Okay. Is this a full highlights thing? No, dude, we're on I play on extended. I'm important. I feel like I missed too much of the match. Comprehensive is too much of the match for me. But they do give you three options, and then they also give you the option to do commentary only if you need to just, like, finish a match real quick. Or you can literally watch the full match, which I do know some people do. Get the full managerial experience. Still 1-0. We have 3.5 XG. We have 3.63 XG, no pens. And no, like, goal line clearance double shot things to juice our XG. We have a legitimate 3.63 XG right now. And it is 
Had to pick a match to really suck at finishing. This is the match because we still should be able to win it, but I would like to just never really suck at finishing. Oh, that's the pass. Kazukanda. Oh, my goodness. Some people do that. Well, I mean, look, look at this. If you play, like, full match, but then up the match speed during highlights a couple, then the match looks like it's playing in fast forward, and you can get through a full match in probably, like, 15 minutes. I know most people that play full match, that's, way, that's how they do it. They just play the match on a high speed. To each their own, there's a lot of match settings, and once you get comfortable with how you make decisions, you usually don't want to move off of those match settings. Canelio... The one-two with Kazu Kanda was wide open. You got, you, all you had to do was give it back to him. It's like a really easy play. Seko. That would have been a nasty pass. Very high degree of, uh, of difficulty. That's his job. Oh, what a... Squid, thank you for the five months. Am I going to see a Rays game while I'm home? Uh, no, don't have a plan to. It is very far away from where I, I grew up. It's like an hour and a half one way. Uh, all the way in St. Pete, so. Canelio! Okay. Love the Rays. Probably not going to catch a game. <laughs> not today, Satan. Not today, Satan! All right, he can't play there. Hmm. I don't have anybody that can play there. Well, I, I do have Jarrell Hato, who we could move up and sub off Canelio, right? And then do like a this, and then him here. And he's playing ball winner. And then we move Jarrell Hato up into that position. And then we bring in... I don't want to debut El Hajaj, but I'm trying to see a match out. So we'll bring in Rosales. We'll bring in McIntosh. Who else is tired? Well, Hato's tired. Uh, and then Kieran Atal, please. Hey, look at me. I love you. Davey, thank you so much for the 29 months. We don't have a Lewis replacement still on the bench, so we can't do that. My other two normal right backs are either suspended or injured. That's mine. Thank you. All right, now we are chilling. They're going to press like crazy, but we've got plenty of numbers to uh, break that easily. Kazu Kanda absolutely sending it on a lower tempo. Love that for him. Don't love that for us, though. Seka, good. Look back. Good God, we don't need this, men. But we could also just end the game if we score. But we didn't. Come on, guys. Figure it out, okay? We we don't need to be doing that. We just need to... They, they can't take the ball off us The in this formation. We just need to get hold of it. Knock that ball around. Put an end to it. They're going long throw. Oh, let's go. Whoa. Okay. I personally believe that was an excellent time to blow the match dead. As you guys do as well, obviously. I believe that was a fantastic time to blow that match dead. <laughs> Davey, thank you for the 29 months. Hot damn, hot damn. Thank you for supporting the stream, dude. For a long time. Thank you for the 100 bits. Got a league made and started on the teams. Once it's done, I can put it in a Discord if you'd like to try it out. I'm probably not going to try it out, Commissar, if you're talking about the... Because, um, I mean, I haven't seen the anime. I'm not the target audience, right? Uh, but obviously, love the thought. And there might be a streamer out there that has seen the anime and wants to play it. Um, but the, the best thing about the databases in FM is, or generally mod communities, is that if you have the idea and you think it's cool and you want to do it, there are other people to do too. You feel me? The Bournemouth won again. I'm just riding Bournemouth's coattails. They have won again. They are completely unstoppable. Completely unstoppable. Liverpool won. City lost to Newcastle. We'll take that. Arsenal scrapped it out at, at uh, Wolves. Chelsea found a way against Crystal Palace. 
Villa, who had an amazing Champions League qualification season last year, have fallen to ninth after losing at home against Bournemouth. But hey, no shame in that. Bournemouth is unbeaten, apparently. Bro, I don't know what a Mackam is, McHugh. So I, I don't know if I can tell you. I, I don't know if I've ever heard that word before. I feel like that could refer to a few of the teams that I have an affinity for, which Sunderland would be one of them. And so them getting smacked by Blackburn. I don't know. Sunderland's just not that good. <laughs> We're getting near the playoff of the championship. They're just not like good. Yeah. Magster, thank you for the 27 months, dude. Congrats on your third Twitch child. Huge deal there. Finished Dragon, thank you for the six months. I appreciate you. Congrats to the Silver Bacon. Okay, so now I know. Mackham's, uh, may, hopefully I'm saying that somewhere in the right neighborhood, uh, is a, a Sunderland fan. Uh, yeah, no, Sunderland's not great. I'd love to see Sunderland in the, the Premier League again, but I, I haven't watched the latest season of Sunderland Till I Die. I haven't really been, you know, I, I don't keep up with the team much. They're just the team that when we, you know, when we were all in elementary school and picking our Premier League teams, I picked Sunderland. Yeah, Luke Collins is only a fringe player. Look, I will recall him in January. We now have three guys out on loan that are having playing time issues. I, I'm feeling very deceived right now. Very deceived. <sighs> all right, Festi Abosele is... Actually, should be able to play against uh, Red Star. We'll see how much, how much he's cleared. Should be should be good to go. And old Mickey Vandevin, who's just got to get a couple of light muscle injuries every year. Tis the tradition. Tradition as old as life itself. Kim Yong Ray. Dude's a good athlete, great mentality. Does have a few olds in his game, but he's also 18, so. Just got promoted in the first three seasons at Gatehead to the at Gateshead to the championship using no! Dude, that's sick. I mean, loans clearly aren't my personal style, but I love that for you. Just blasting the loans song on repeat. I've never used a loan fact. I mean, that, oh, how could I dispute that? You watch every stream. Like, I, I, I've I, never loaned a player. Loans are weird, personally. I don't know why anybody would use them. Other than the fact that you get a player that you don't have to pay for, you don't have to buy. Loans are love, they are life. But other than that, I, no idea. I, like, you probably just shouldn't. Seems dangerous. Ah, United. We have a very tight race between first and sixth. Three points from first to sixth. The big clubs are sticking around right now. We're just out here trying to take care of business. Control what we can control. Beat the teams in front of us. Keep moving. What do you think of the team report scouting method? I, uh, I, I, I don't typically use it. I don't think there's anything wrong with it where you go to the team report and you find like the player that you, um, you know, like the one where, where it says like, hey, this is a wonder kid, by the way. And you're like, oh, really? Are we on the road? Yeah, we're in Serbia. So let's um, let's stay chill. All right. Let's start Bellarmino Seca just because we can. Let's start Marcelo Enrique. We want to rotate as much as possible. So, Bestia Bocelli is going to get the start. Sorry, Rico. 
Rosales is going there. We don't have a fourth center back, so Gonzalo Inacio going to try and push through this. I guess we could go with Mark Rodriguez and then Rosales and Ebisele. Doeg's just got to keep playing because, you know. Actually, Coyote is here, and he is suspended until the end of time in the league, so we might as well toss him out there. Actually, true story, suspended until the end of time. All right, Redjevich there, McIntosh, and Kieran Tall, who apparently doesn't even have any match sharpness, which I find insulting. All right, Avi Guerra should be there, and we are missing attacking midfielder Hector Gamera, and then you go there, and I don't think, yeah, you failed your fitness test. Okay, this is one of those Champions League matches that we have to win. Uh, we won our first two Champions League matches. It was at AC Milan. I can do this. And at home against Atletico Madrid, where we looked insanely impressive. But this is one of those that you just have. They want to give the captaincy to Mark Rodriguez. I don't believe that. But he does have amazing leadership. Thoughts? He's literally in the other players. There's no way we can give him a leadership role on the team. But enticing. Is Kieran Tell at least not on the bottom of it? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll give it to Kieran. Awkward. Uh, yeah, not Mark Rodriguez. Um, definitely Gonzalo Inacio, Mickey Vandeven. So he'd probably Jarrell Hato. Over him. Uh, Avi Guerra is obviously a second guy. It's all in Asia's there. Then Kieran Tall. Then Francisco Rodriguez. Then Mark Rodriguez. Okay. Ros Rosales and then Mark Rodriguez. Okay. Only 10 subs out of a possible 12. Yeah, we don't have a lot of guys. So registration's a bit of a bear here. All right, guys. Love ya. Gonna be a why. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Standing. Sorry. Sorry. I'm, I'm standing. I'm listening. I, 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 I forgot. I forgot this was what. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, God. Oh, so much is happening. Uh, good thing I'm not a professional streamer. Joshua, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs, Joshua. Thank you for making 10 people's days. Thank you for giving 10 people no ads for a month. And they have all the emotes. They've got the bacon next to their name. They can get in the subsection of the Discord. Thank you for doing that. And thank you for supporting the channel with kindness. It does mean a lot. You want to throw around 10 gifted subs, Joshua. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry I didn't see the verse five. I was, I was absolutely dialed in. But thank you for the 10 gifted subs, dude. We have, tw there are over 2,300 hammers to the face of the earth. Coach Brian, thank you for the prime. It's a lot. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a lot of people that know how to sing the loan song. Oh, there you go. Seca, tell. That's got to be it. Thank you. Nice and early. Nice and early. You know FM is an April Fool's joke? Only if you lose. Only if you lose. Oh, they have Suzuki in goal. That's the uh, Japanese-American dude. That uh, United was trying to sign Zion Suzuki. Wait, it actually happened to me in the game. There's an April Fool's thing in the game. Said I was getting a $485 million takeover with Gateshead. And then it said April Fool's. 
Didn't find it very funny. It was right after the Wonder Kid Top 50 came out. I'm sorry. I actually think, like, I know that that sucks and it literally happened to me, like, last stream or whatever. But that's hilarious. Like, an actual game is over here introducing the, like, giving you fake takeover rumors. That's absurd. That is absurd. I didn't know they did that. I feel like maybe I heard some story like that a long time ago. Clearly, it's not for everybody. But they just, like, sprinkle in an April Fool's joke into the game that you're about to get a monster takeover. I wonder if my monster takeover... No, because it says April Fool's. Okay. So my monster takeover wasn't... Um, yeah, my monster takeover was not an April Fool's joke. It was just Daniel Levy just absolutely playing me. Sec up. Ooh, nice pass. Mac Daddy. Oh, there he is. What a play. What a play. What a goal. Kazu Kanda from McIntosh, and it's 2-0. It's if you have April 1st on the date in the game and in real life. Oh, that makes sense. So if you hit April Fool's Day on April Fool's, then the game gives you a fake takeover rumor. Genius. McWhite? I don't even know. What's his name? McIntosh, brought to you by McDonald's. It's perfect. Play the line. There it is, Kazu. Regevich, oh, his understanding of space is so good. 3-0 in 23 minutes in Serbia. Give me the key highlights. Brushed aside in the Champions League. Completely different level. I got an emergency press conference for a player eligible thing. So there's multiple... We got to collect this. There's multiple April Fool's things. There's the fake takeover and then a press conference. This is what I'm hearing. Regevich just, he's so, he's, he's so smooth, man. The way he moves, that off the ball at 19 is so apparent. We have the ball, he just, he just cuts into the right space. Barcelona's up 2-0 at City right now. That's an impressive scoreline. Fake injury? So there's three that we know about then. There's a fake injury. There's the takeover in a press conference about player eligibility. All right, Kazu. Kazu! Oh, near post! Oh, new stadium? There's a pump fake in a new stadium as well. That's four things. This is uh, a great near post finish. The interview says you're disqualified. Yeah, yeah, sorry, we're kicking you out of the National League South. You do not have enough Brexit tackles per capita. Your meat pies are too tasty. They must be worse. You are disqualified. Your pints beeth not frothy enough. Enrique Regiment. Oh, is that Seca? It is! And it's 5 0. Unbelievable. Bellamino Seca, so often the facilitator, rarely the scorer, but he can score, and he does score. And the goal difference will be mighty fine here in Serbia. It's Tottenham 5, Red Star 0. Yeah, this is supposed to be the, arguably the easiest match we have. We're doing a really good job, obviously, making it as easy as possible. We'll get to 60 and get Seca off. He's got a match to play in four days. And we'll rotate anybody left that we feel like we can rotate.
My ball, my ball, my ball. Oh, Seca, dang it. There's one of three things it can give you. All right. Have they talked about it? What a save by Gonstead there. The board is giving you 500 million pounds for players in a stadium. A player has an injury out for one year from a weird cause. An emergency press conference for fielding an ineligible player. So the press conference tells you you're going to get disqualified from the league because you're fielding an ineligible player. Am I getting that right? That's the idea? That's hilarious. That is amazing. I love that. Like, I understand how that would anger me in the moment. That's really funny. Um, uh, nobody I really want to change. I mean, Mark Rodriguez, we probably should move out. Bellarmino Sec is really the only one. I'm just going to... You know what? Gamera is leaving January 1st. Doesn't mean he can't eat useless minutes in the Champions League like a, like a pro. Let him eat some useless minutes in the Champions League. He's still here. We might as well use him. I'm usually against playing guys that have a, a transfer agreed, but it's not like an end of contract. Oh, how... I mean... Tell was offside, but that, that was annoying. When did they get all their XG? Why do they have one XG? So was there one on Reddit about a gunshot? Dude, they probably, even if that was true like 10 years ago, <gasps> this is the guy we tried to sign, dude. I didn't realize we were playing against him. Richard, you haven't done literally anything. Richard Vig. Yeah, you want to be a star player for me? Do you see the level that we play at, Richard? Richie, my boy, I think you could be a part of this team, but I don't think you could be a star player. And you really want to be a star player, and that's stupid. Look at McIntosh. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. Is it worth it to buy the game now? Depends. Like, if you don't have a football manager, yeah. If you've got FM23 and you're enjoying it, no. If you have FM23 and you feel how about FM23 the way I felt about FM23, still probably, yeah. The new game comes out in November, typically. That's a nice finish. So, like, there's still a long time from April 1st to mid-November. <laughs> People just feel like, you know, because the season's winding down, the new game. No, the new game doesn't come out until well after the season is underway. Ne next season. So a lot of time. Like if you've got, you know, if you got summer break or something coming up and you don't own like FM23 or FM22. Okay, there we go. It's getting ugly. Francisco Rosales makes it seven on the corner. Go back to extended highlights so we can pick that up in our league match. But that's a nice win. Very pretty execution on the set pieces, just showing quality in tight spaces. Unlucky for Tall that he didn't get a goal on that own goal. I don't know if I have the ability to show you this. It would probably take a lot of effort. But the kitty has returned and is on the cat tower right next to me. No, you don't need to move the cat tower. I, I can... It's a bit mystifying for Boggs there as the cat tower is moving. So what I need to do is move this. We're going we're gonna to get some more cat content here. Check that out. We'll just leave the stream like that. Hey, Boggs. Well, yeah, we'll leave. We'll just leave the camera like this. Boggs cam. Awesome. Well done. Good win. Great company. Honestly, great company when I'm home. Huge improvement to the stream. Hey, buddy.
So many things in life can be cured by just petting a cat. Literally watchable. Thank you. Means a lot. I really thought we, you know, I thought we were missing something. I, we really needed to add something to the stream. I'm just glad that we found it, you know? Kazu Kanda had two goals and an assist. That is the type of performance we're looking for, brother. That is the type of performance we're looking for. Look at Gongsted. Getting more determined. He's just getting better at every turn. Yeah, we're going to, you know, obviously, it's uh, this is also fair. We're going to give half of all Twitch ad revenue to uh, Boggs for the rest of the stream. <laughs> just wanted you to know that Boggs was appropriately compensated for this, uh, this cameo, for this collab that we're doing. Mighty Cow, thank you for the eight months. Thank you for the prime. You need a cat in New York? Dude, I'm not home enough uh, to, to feel, you know, comfortable getting an animal right now. Um, but I always grew up around a ton of dogs and cats, and we had donkeys and horses and everything. Closet redneck over here, or at least avid farm goer, you know? He deserves it more than you. I mean, honestly, I get that because, I mean, oh, where are we going, Boggs? Oh, no, just turn it around. Don't worry. No, no, no Boggs departure here. Just turn it around. Resituating. Grunt, thank you so much for the tier one, dude. I appreciate you supporting the stream. Yeah, just resetting, reloading up there. Totally fair. Need a cat cam ASAP. Set up a cat cam while I'm home for the stream. I don't know. Boggs, Bo Boggs roams the house, you know? It's like the wild Serengeti and Boggs just roams the whole thing. Cat doesn't want his face in front of all these people. Honestly, it's probably the light. I'm like, ah, that light's a little bright. I'm going to... Look, I realize this could be an April Fool's thing that this tycoon is here, but also it was happening before. It's the sound. Z is very loud, so he turned his ears away. Probably, honestly. I'm a very loud person. I yell into the microphone. Mystery foreign tycoon. No, I mean, last time it was freaking, uh, last time it was Hong Kong. Hopefully it's that dude again, because that dude had money with a capital money. Uh, seriously, had outrageous money. So we want the first team, then we'll rotate Salzburg away, Liverpool. Yeah, okay. So we do want our full first team on the field for this game. Did I sell Seca? Bro, I forgot the words that just came out of my mouth. It's amazing how that happens. Um, anyways, did I sell Seca? No. GoPro for uh, Boggs? Yeah, I just strap a GoPro to Boggs that's, like, connected to the stream. That would actually be really funny. But I want full starting lineup. I'm just going to go there, and then we'll go... Where's Rodriguez? Since Rodriguez is not really in the starting lineup or out of the starting lineup. Rodriguez is just like this kind of amorphous, he's everywhere all at once type player. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, Regevich does need to be on the bench for this match, though. I'll put him there. Okay, so starters, I think I want to go with Kieran Tall, then Canelio, then Seca, then Indrik. McIntosh is not that guy. It's George Takichi. This is a center mid on defend. We're going to go ahead and put Guerra in that spot. And in our starting left back is Josh Doig, at least the way that everything is set up right now. Cool. 
Have you ever watched The Secret Life of Cats? It's where they do literally that. That's a great show idea. But no, I have not watched The Secret Life of Cats. I've watched that for a lot of animals. Like if planet Earth managed to get a camera onto a snow leopard or something, I realize how insane that sounds. They have to wait for two years just to get footage of a snow leopard hunt or whatever for that show. But if they did manage to do that, I would totally watch it. And I feel like that in and itself, that is enough of a reason for them to try. <laughs> if they did do it, I would totally watch it. All right, we're at home against Brentford. Do they have a fullback that's going up or else we're fine? I mean, I realized some dude had to sit in the Himalayas for two years to get that one shot of a snow leopard hunt for planet Earth, but what if he spent three more years there, strapped the camera to it so I could have a nice evening? Why not? Mad Cratter, thank you so much for the four months, dude. Thank you for supporting this stream. Raleigh is bumping this week after the final four birth. Dude, I got to watch UVA. Uh, do that. I got to watch UVA make it all the way and win the title. It is a special experience. Wouldn't trade it for anything. Glad you're getting to experience it. Um, enjoy every second of it. Buy all the merch. Go to all the rallies. Like, it is so fun. Mujahid Kaya is actually German, but obviously some Turkish descent in there. Uh, oh, Brentford's won four of its last five. All right. I know they're in 11th in the league right now. So they're looking pretty competitive. Uh, we're trying to hunt down Bournemouth at the moment. Hi, future me. Hi, YouTube. Here, we'll pause for a sec. We haven't said hi to YouTube today. Welcome to the stream. This is Boggs. He, uh, he, you, know, you probably already met Boggs a little bit, but we just want to say hi to YouTube. I'm sorry you guys couldn't make it today, but, you know, everybody here missed you. They're, they're sad that you weren't able to make it today, and I hope that as you continue to watch right here, we are, uh, we're winning these matches, right? We're having a good time, flanked by Kitty. You don't have to turn it. He's fine. You're really blowing his mind right now. Whoa, don't drop the cat. My mom is moving the cat palace thing around. As you can tell. Magic, yep. We're also in my mom's office. Okay. She's like literally checking it. Yeah, Boggs is, he's in now. Everybody say hi, Boggs. All right, let's get back to the action now. Match time. It's good. We got a high YouTube in. We got a high Boggs in. We're okay. Life is good now. I was offside. Okay, cool. We love bugs. We do. We do love bugs. Let's go. Oh, nice. Yes, finish. Oh, that was a great goal by Boggs there. Absolutely tremendous goal by Boggs. Loki gorgeously worked. Perfectly executed run. We're doing really well. Ace Cap, thank you for the 21 months. I appreciate it. The Boggs effect. Couldn't have worded it any better myself. It is the Boggs effect. Dominant displays all over the place. Seca is not doing well, though. That sucks.
That should have been a goal. That should have been a goal. I did switch back to extended. Yeah, I did it right at the end of the last match so that we started this match and extended, which is what I usually like to do. That's a terrible shot. <laughs> Keeping Brentford in their half for the most part, which is great, great news. Inacio, Shikichi, looking at the overlap, perhaps. Bring it back. Ow. Oh. Anyways, I started blasting, dude. What is even? I <laughs> he just like flicks it back in a crowd of them, and it ramps into the goal. Yeah, I mean, obviously, as 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 we teach all of our players on the training ground, when you can't hit it directly at the goal, you hit it at a dude standing right in front of the goal. And then that puts the ball in the back of the net. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's a genius play here by Bellarmino Seca. Dude, that guy finished that like a striker, but they gave the own goal to the goalkeeper. I don't even know what just happened. We're up 2-0. That's what matters. We have not been, like, completely dominant in this game, so I'm very happy with a 2-0 lead. Goodness. Chill. I played against Tyne today. Are you proud of me? Absolutely, yes. Because that means you're playing in the sixth division or, you know, at a decently high youth level. Hopefully you didn't win. You know, Taunton kind of needs the win right now. Boggs is stealing the show with the face up there. Yeah, I get that. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's taking a snooze at the top of the ladder, which is what we're trying to do as well <laughs> it's really all symmetry Boggs is a metaphor for all of our accomplishments oh let's go come on yeah, we'll, we'll play yes there you go Kieran Tell that probably should, how is he he's not offside Yeah, it's actually been Percy's son. He's a pretty good prospect at Ajax, I believe. Surely not. Belchior just really feeling it. All right, Hendrik. Give me the sauce. Sauce this man up right now. One more. Should be easy. Should be able to just not score. Awesome. We made it look so easy. I mean, we're just that good. I don't know what to tell you. Focus on the possession. My favorite of all the statistics. Nice. The hell is that? Dude. That was stupid. Bye, Boggs. Oh, Boggs is still there. Just repositioned. <laughs> Staring ominously, apparently. But Boggs is just repositioned. It's all good, you know? Just a little reposition. A lot of, a lot of comfortable positions up there at the top. But I think Portugal, yeah, Portugal, with the amount of talent it has, always has a chance to win the Euros. People always underestimate the chance that the teams outside the top few have to actually win a major tournament. Like, is Portugal one of the three biggest favorites? I would probably say no. But if you're making top five, six, I think Portugal's in there. Mm. 
Bog's new goalkeeper. Yeah. Meownell Neuer, that like fake viral video that Chris MD did. I'm sure if we started training now, I could get Boggs up to that level in a couple of days. I mean, he's got some serious game. <laughs> he looks pissed. Now he's, he's trying to... He's really just trying to tuck himself into a bagel position here. But his head doesn't really fit. He's getting a little big for the top pedestal. But he has hit the snooze button. Oh, Hendrick. Oh, yes, George. That is lovely. Those are my top three teams to win the Euros. I mean, France, England, and I would say Italy. I realize they can't make a World Cup, but they are the reigning champions. And then if you're making a 4-5-6, I think you got Germany, Spain, Portugal are the next three in there for me. Look, oh, Nether Netherlands is a permanent dark horse. Right, because there are always a few gaps in their national team at the world-class level, but they are always good enough to win it. I would say Netherlands is probably seven. I'd put them ahead of Belgium. Colombia's winning the Euros? Hell yeah, dude. In Italy? Hey, they're the reigning European champion, dude. And, you know, I oh, Indrik got an injury. Ugh. We're getting nothing major. We're just getting a ton of, like, nitpicking kind of injuries, you know? All right, Kazu. Go take care of business, big dog. Germans will win this year? Look, I put them in that second tier of contenders, right? Just because of how poorly they've performed recently. that You never quite know if a coach is going to have it figured out. I love Nagelsmann. I think Julian Nagelsmann is very, very good. I think he will figure it out. But you just never quite know if the coach is going to figure it out or not. Playing at home? Yeah, but I think when you're not in great form, that could be as much of a hindrance as it is a help. <laughs> Kondu. Oh, Kazu. All right, you have Festi Abizele in. Play him out the last 15 minutes. Jin is Regevich and all those guys. Who do I support? I don't have, like, a club team. I, I obviously root for the U.S. national teams and everything. It allows me to make fun of everybody equally. Very important. Yeah, we are this formation. I think we're standard. Honestly, I haven't messed with it in a while. Yeah. We are standard. Feels standard, you know? Not crazy wide. Oh, a speculative ball, perhaps. Austria is doing really well under Ragnik. I think Switzerland is always dangerous, right? That team is always, but I, I don't like Croatia, right? Luka's literally still there. But even outside of that, I mean, they have very, very good players. I put Spain as the fifth best team going into the Euros, yeah. I mean, I know they lost to Morocco, but, like, come on. They're, they're, Spain is one of the – they're just one of those teams that in every single major tournament, they're good enough to win. I And they've won three major tournaments in the last 25 years. So the production and the belief is there. I know Portugal lost to Morocco as well. Morocco is very, very good at competing its way into a winning position in those matches. But, I mean, I think Spain and Portugal have more talent than Morocco does, at least by some margin. I think Spain by more. I put Portugal as the sixth best team going into the Euros. I have Germany at four. 
Uh, just because Germany is Germany's talent is so undeniable that it's just always hard to believe they're going to get grouped again and again and again. Like, but they do. <laughs> I don't think Hungary can actually believe that it can win, but they can definitely. I, Hungary's proven they can claim some massive scalps. You know, Roa, thank you so much for the two months. What do I think? Uh, what do I think will happen to Messi or to Argentina after Messi retires? Greetings from an Argentinian living living in Canada. Uh, greetings. Enjoy the cold. Um. What do I think will happen? A uh, wave of depression. I think if you want like a historical reference, what happened to Argentina after uh, uh, Maradona retired? Like if you want an actual historic, like a historical point to reference with that, you actually like the same country has been through that before. And so you do that. You go look at what happened to Brazil after Pele left. Uh, Pele left. Pele. I'm trying to re remember that it's not Pele. I'm just too American when it comes to that. Um, but there is a downturn, right? There's a feeling that the golden generation is over, even though it was literally just one player. And a lot of the guys that were an important part of that winning World Cup team, you know, from like freaking McAllister to Julian, Alver Julian Alvarez, right? Those guys are still there. Doesn't matter. Am I doing an FM challenge? I mean, I'd really, I mean, what we're doing is basically we started with no badges, like no coaching badges, no playing experience. And we are just trying to get to the top of the game. So we're in our ninth season. We have, we become the coach of Tottenham about a year and a half ago. We're closing in on two years of being the coach of Tottenham. We've won the Europa League. So we ended the whole Tottenham trophy hoodoo, although we haven't won a domestic trophy, which is definitely a point of contention because we bottled, you know, we lost the FA Cup final. We lost the league by a point to Arsenal last year, which was absolutely brutal. I mean, really, really brutal. Would I ever do a Just Youth Challenge? Probably never on stream. I mean, I just don't get deep enough into saves in a single year to justify kind of a youth only challenge, you know, you got to play like 20, 30 years into a save to really have a youth only challenge going all the way. And I used to kind of get to like the late 2040s when I was playing a save by myself. But obviously when my only save that I'm playing is on stream, I, I, I you know, I only play the save like 25, 30 hours a week. But yeah, what's going to happen to Argentina when, when Messi retires? I think there will be an inevitable downswing, and I think that Argentina will be a much worse national team for the next decade after that, even though the talent won't be crazy different. I mean, obviously, you don't have the difference maker in Lionel Messi, but you still have a very, very competitive team. Love the draw here. Love the draw here. Liverpool. Oh, Bournemouth lost. The dream is dead. Bournemouth's run at the top, the top of the freaking league is done. But who just got hurt? Oh yeah, Luka Josh. That's going to be an issue. Okay. Um, goalkeeper, goalkeeper, Arantes, Morris. Don't like it, but you're you're the guy. We loaned out the other guy. So for the next two to three weeks, Arantes Morris is our backup goalkeeper. We have two first team level goalkeepers at the club right now. Training facilities have been upgraded. That's great. They were downgraded because of wear and tear recently. So good to get that out of the way. Yeah, we had to spend those few months without top level training facilities. Just an absolute nightmare, really. Just seeing if I can get a uh, more budget and payroll. I doubt he'll give it to me, but it doesn't hurt to ask.
because we are very financially healthy right now with a lot of transfer budget. He isn't getting better. His potential might be a joke. What about the English team of entitled queens? I don't know. I don't. I don't think there's anything wrong with the English team. I think England just has put itself in position to win a few major tournaments. It just hasn't. Yeah, you had the semifinals of the World Cup. You got the final of the Euros, right? The quarterfinals, uh, where you know it kind of all comes down to a penalty against France, who ended up going all the way to penalties in the final. I mean, England's been in position. Just hasn't made that one, you know, play to put it over the top. Scored the one extra penalty in the shootout or whatever. I don't think there's anything wrong or broken about the English team. I think he sets it up a little more defensive than a lot of us would like to see, but also in a tournament environment, it's a survive and advance operation. It's We're getting to the next round. And he does, you know, if you look at what England was doing before Gareth Southgate got there and what they've been doing after, he does a really good job. Do scout reports look like this because of settings? Because of the skin. The skin I'm using. That's what's uh, changing it. Connor, thank you so much for the 20 months, by the way, just in case I didn't see that. I appreciate you supporting the stream, dude. I mean, he's already dropped Calvin Phillips from the team. Southgate clearly values continuity, and that's not the wrong decision, right? Gareth Southgate values continuity. He values that because it's rare. Like on the international game, if you're calling up players too randomly, too willy-nilly, then you're not going to have the type of cohesion needed to be able to like actually kind of control a match the way that he clearly wants to at the international level. So the reason that Calum, uh, Calvin Phillips and Jordan Henderson stayed around is because pretty early on, he made the decision that he was like, these are the guys I'm going to ride with. And, you know, it's going to take a sustained period of them not performing at the level they should be performing at for them to be removed. Like, it's going to take a really sustained period. And that's why I thought it was all, it was a little surprising to me, although I would have done it, that he called up Kobe Minu. Because that means he sees Kobe Minu as somebody that should be involved with the team at that level. That he's somebody that, you know, he sees as part of a long-term plan to build the midfield that they're going to have for the World Cup in 2026. Because right, that's what you're trying to build up to peak for. Do I have any plan for Euro-specific streams? So I am going to TwitchCon Europe in the middle of the Euros. So I might actually be going to a game. I don't know. We're going to kind of figure that out, see what we're going to do, get in touch with some people, see what we could do. I know I'm going to be going to TwitchCon in Europe while the Euros are going on. We are going to do some live watch-alongs. How many? I don't know. Haven't come up with like a full plan on that yet. So I think an African nation will win the World Cup in the next 10 years. No. I do not think they will. I hope they do. Oh, they just agreed to increase my... Oh, okay. He added $12 million to my transfer budget. That's the most Daniel Levy thing ever. I just bullied him into increasing my transfer budget, and I got 12 more million. But we're at $135 million now, which is actually... That is a beefy transfer budget. That is before selling Simone Skoda that we've gotten our budget up to 135 million. That is better than I could have hoped for. All right, this is backups. Really hope our goalkeeper doesn't get hurt. That would be a problem. <sighs> Abazele, yes. All right, this is at Crystal Palace. Yeah, okay. You check if Tuchel's renamed uh, to Dom in your save? Uh, no, he wasn't because I put the real name fix in. What date is it in Rotterdam? Uh, I'll be there. It's that weekend, last weekend of June, like 28th, 29th. I'll be there. We'll be vibing. Boggs will not be there, unfortunately.
Like, don't put any stock in friendlies, dude. Managers are testing rotations or doing things like, hey, I want to see what this guy can do, right? That's the sort of thing that they're doing in those matches. All right, Regevich, Rodriguez, Canelio, Conda, McIntosh, Mujahid, Kaya. Defense is Rosales. Already got the fullback sorted, so we just need... Where is he? Where is El Hog? Oh, he's cup-tied. Oh, that would have been so convenient. I'll just go Marcelo Enrique. He can probably handle it, no problem. Seconds before disaster strikes. All right, this is League Cup. This is League Cup on the road against Crystal Palace, all right? No, I'm not putting Colombo in, Dirk. I'm sorry. What team will Boggs play for? Lester Kitty. Nice. I'm sorry I didn't see that poll, so I couldn't promote it more, but what were the other options? So the options were FC Perto, Catletico Madrid, Felindenheim, and Mionico. Lester Kitty is who Boggs would play for. Good choice. Now, I'll, I'll, I'm going to have to get in touch with Boggs' uh, Boggs's agent, Boggs' manager, of course. I, uh, you know, we need to, we need to get in touch with both of those. Justice for FC Perto. That was good. No mods. That was a very good pull. I dug that. <sighs> All right. The quadruple is on. We had a brutal our opening league cup draw against Manchester United. Now we have Crystal Palace. Barcelona. That's good. Didn't make the list. Good effort. Oh, come on. I know we got to start in the League Cup third round instead of the second because we, you know, if you finish like great in the league. You don't enter the League Cup until the third round, but it still feels weird that we haven't played. You know, the, like the first League Cup match is always some nonsense. We're getting no nonsense. You know, like away against Cowdenbeath or something. Definitely Galakatsurai. Not bad. Brazil needs a playmaker? Yeah, I mean, when you don't have Neymar, I can see how you're missing, like, a, a true world-class number 10, which Brazil is usually never missing. <laughs> but I think Brazil's going to be all right. I mean, you've got Vinicius, who's coming into his own as one of the best players in the world. He can lead that new generation. Ooh, he went for the volley. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, they, they do have some spicy wingers. And Richarlison always... Dude, Richarlison shows up. Richarlison shows up for Brazil. All right, let's get a shout in here. Brazil needs England's midfield. Can we just do trades? We'll give you Endrick. We'll give you, like, the next generation if you just hand us uh, Jude. Straight one for one. Why are we aiming our corner at Festi Abicelli? That dude is not tall. 
McIntosh, lock in. I hate these cup masses because I feel like we should win this, but League, League Cup's only 90 minutes. Like, you're going to have to find a way to break through in regulation. And anything can happen in one match. Puts you on edge a little bit more. Uh, is Brazil starting midfield? Bruno Guimaraes. Pocketa and um, Casemiro. I mean, Casemiro's old, right? I don't think even at the next World Cup, I don't think Casemiro's going to be a guy you want playing full-time as a starting midfielder for you. Maybe he can step in at center back or something, but play 20 minutes to see how to match. But I don't think he's got a full 90 of cover midfield in those legs by 2026. Bring me the tablet. I got to look at this one. A lot of time and space for Mateus Franca. Don't. Do not allow that. That was a bad half, dude. We're in trouble. Am I pro or anti-league cup? I don't mind it. I just think that you just play backup players in it if you don't care about it. I think the fixture congestion comes from the one thing that teams don't want to fix, which is the stupidly large number of preseason tournaments and friendlies they pay or they play in order to suck up a bunch of money that's like glued down all over the world. You know, like the the the, man, the fixture congestion everybody's complaining about, right? Is because like it's because they're playing all round and there's not in the like in these breaks. Like every international window, you have to be playing in something, right? In every off season, the vast majority of that off season, you spend playing tours and friendly things, you know, in the U.S. or in Australia or in China, and those can be cool. But doing them all the time, particularly when you're Barcelona and trying not to go bankrupt. That's where the fixture congestion comes from, dude. Totally forgot about David Luiz. Yeah, he was really kind of frozen out. I don't think he was very good after the 2014 World Cup. Maybe he had one or two more years after that, but I think he was kind of frozen out. Get that ball out of here, dude. I don't like this. But now come out, started the second half the same way we ended the first. We did not get a change in the direction of the team. We're going to have to start bringing in the stars. Oh, I mean, look, David Luiz is a brilliant player at certain things in his day, right? That free kick goal at the World Cup, in my opinion, is one of the best goals I've ever seen in any World Cup goal comp. Like, that is an absurd goal. And it's not the only time he did something absurd. He just kind of fell off pretty hard after that 7-1. That's totally deserved for them. 100%. Well, we'll see how the ratings react, but they deserve to be in front. I don't know what's uh, we're, we're going to have to do like a four man platoon change up top or something because it's just not working. We are just getting beat right now. Yeah, that's seven one to Germany ended a few careers. It certainly ended a few careers in the national team level. I like the fact that we're fired up and very motivated, but I am going to uh, I'm going to seek out a few subs that might be able to help us turn this around, particularly bringing in an entirely new front four.
All right, we are uh, going into attacking at 65. I'll go to the four triple two if I feel like we need to. I just want to see us create some real good looks now that we've switched our entire front group. But apparently all four of them are struggling to meet the pace of the match. So that's the issue with a platoon substitution. All of that! Dude. Funny how I really just wasn't that worried about that. You just knew he was going to catch him. Okay. Alrighty, that's the move. Play it, roaming playmaker for Seca. He can just find whatever hole he feels like we uh, we could use here. I am going to drop Jenny's Regevich just so that we can go with like a Javi Guerra kind of center bit on support. Regevich can't really do that, but I guess it doesn't really matter. We kind of need the numbers, so I'm going to bring in, yeah, I don't even know. I'm going to save the last sub. Who do you guys think we should bring in, dude? We have Guerra. I could go Vandevin for Coyote, who's not been good. We go Rico Lewis for Festi Abazele, who's not been good. Not like anybody's been good, but. I have one sub left. Vandevin, Lewis, or Guerra? Coyote on a yellow? True, we know what that means. But Vandevin's also the least offensively gifted of those three players that I just talked about. All right, we'll go with it. We will go with it. Vandevin, uh, he can play further up the side, right? We're just going to go ahead and do that on both guys. All right, Mickey. Welcome to the show, baby. Let's go. Uh, the reason I'm doing that mainly is Coyote's right-footed. I'm going to try and get the, you know, the appropriate footedness set up here. Let's go, Endrick. Get that inside. No, get it. Yes, there. There. Good pass. Mark. <sighs> 20 minutes. We have 20 minutes to make the dream work. Tempo's all the way up. Uh, we're going to step up more. Add that. We're going to go into very attacking. I've confirmed changes in the top right for some reason. Okay. This would be nice. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's going to square it. He's going to square it. He's going to square it. No way. Yes, 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 yes. <sighs> Exhale. 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 We got the goal. Fr Freaking breathe. Kieran Tall got blocked. Regevich is there. We're going we're gonna to stay going for it. We're staying going for it. 10 minutes, we do not want the penalty shootout, we want the goal. Oh, okay. What are we what are we doing? Seca. Still Seca. Take it wide, Festy. What are you doing? The width is all the way up, Festy. Don't you dare tell me that Ebisele shot was the highlight. Thank you. 
We all know it wasn't. This is the beautiful highlight here from Vandeven. Oop, Chikichi. Vandeven. Radjevic. <sighs> yeah, the goalkeeper's been hurt for a while. Oh, 90th minute. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Shoot it! Six minutes, keep pushing! That's gotta be mine. No, it ain't. Good step, let's go. Shikichi. George Shikichi. That's just bad, though. The the issue. The issue at hand. We're just bad. I thought that shot was in. I thought that shot was in. Okay. Mark Rodriguez is feeling aggressive. Look, we love that. I love that for him. Rosales is there. Festia Bazele is going 10. Gongstead's 11. Oh, it's a penalty freaking shootout, dude. All right, here we go. Penalty shootout. Relax and pick your spot. I believe in you. Friggin' fourth round of the League Cup. Celine Dion will bring us home. Seca. That's good. Bo Boggs just told me that we were going to win. He's um he's omniscient. Nineteen year old goalkeeper Casper Gungsted. This is it right here. We're okay. We're okay. Kieran Tall it was an excellent opening penalty by Bellarmino Seca. Oh, and we're hitting the chorus. Oh, easy. Easy from Kieran Tall. $74 million striker all day long. Come on, Celine, sing it. We want to win the League Cup, Celine. Sing it. Casper Gangsted. <sighs> Against Vale. Ah. It's all right, boys. It's all right. 2-2. Two, two. Couple of good pens. You keep your head up, Casper. Keep your head up. Who is it? Endrick? Oh, of course, the chosen one. Come on, Endrick. <laughs> what a penalty by your boy. That was a beaut. Dude, it's the player that we almost signed. It's Wilson Odobear. We almost signed him at St. Etienne. That's why, because he's a quality player. All right, 3-3. Three, 3-3. Three. Three, three. Just like it was at the beginning, we're still there. Ginny's Rajevich. I'll sing it, Celine. Sing it.
Come on. Gog still. Oh. All right, sudden death. Here we go. Joe Shikichi. Oh, he freaking had it. He was all over that one. George Shikichi. Come on, Celine! Yeah, what a pin! Come on, Gongstead. This is the one, Gongstead! No! <sighs> oh. We're on to the extra ones. It's Mark Rodriguez. The hero, Mark Rodriguez. Oh, what a penalty by Big Mark. Casper has felt the breeze on a few. He got his hands on the last one. He held his ground in the middle. And now it's Mateus Franza. There's nine seconds left in the song. Six seconds left in the song. Gongsted saves it and Celine does it again. Tottenham wins the penalty shootout with three seconds to go in the song. Yes! It's for you, Boggs. <sighs> Just like we planned, dude. Just like we planned. We're into the next round of the League Cup. Come on! Come on! Big save by old Casper Gongsted. <sighs> Next time, choose a smaller song. True. But Celine, Celine always carries us. Mego, Mega, thank you so much for the seven months. Or that's a 10 months, dude. Lord, thank you for the 17 months. Thank you guys for supporting the stream. Peace Swiss, thank you for the 14 months. Enjoy your lack of ads. I'll see you guys in the subsection of the Discord. Gary's going nuts. Celine did it again, dude. Celine is like undefeated. As a penalty shootout song, it's really, it's like, it's, it's insane how good Celine is at winning penalty shootouts. With Celine and Boggs, we could not fail, chat. That was a massive, I mean, we're trying to win our first domestic trophy in like 30 years. <laughs> we have stayed alive in the League Cup. Oh, I have a headache. I, I have I have a freaking headache, dude. Uh, do, 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 do. Wow, that was wonderful. Thank you for the excellent. Uh, thank you for the excellent vibes in that penalty shootout. You know, we all believed. I saw you guys. Every single one of you believed. There was nobody in there saying, oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Dude, Arsenal and Liverpool are out. Oh, Celine, you are so good. Celine, you are so freaking good. Oh, Celine. Oh, Bristol City just knocked Liverpool out on penalties. And Chelsea just knocked out Arsenal. Wow. What a time to be alive right now. Carabao Cup surprises all over the place. The caribou are in migration. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Gamera, Skoda, Ben Al Hog, Colombo. And we'll try Festy for 45 minutes. I think he'll be fine. But this is a starters match. We're going to try and play the starters in this one. Oh, and, and uh. Pay me like one of your Bristol City girls. Oh, goodness. All right, but seriously, shout out to Celine. Saves. A, I, I can't remember the first time we listened to Celine Dion for that. Oh, we have the third best.
The third best youth academy in the world, but you have the best youth academy in England going right now. Okay. What, what was this about Alves, though? Did you see uh, some sort of news feed thing? Or is Zidon Alves just kicking up a fuss here? Ah, he wants to leave for continental football. And that would make us an incredibly attractive destination. League Cup quarterfinal, which we earned in that penalty shootout. Well, we didn't get Preston. You know, it could have been worse. City and Chelsea are playing each other, which is great. And we are playing Everton at home, which is also great. That is fantastic, actually. We didn't get Chelsea or City. We got uh, Everton at home, which, well, dude, how do you fail? I'm pretty sure he's failed it twice. My man's has failed two intensive language courses. Marcelo Enrique, I know English is hard, man, but I am paying $25,000 to get you, like, the best tutors known to man here. You got to be able to learn the language so that you can, like, actually exist here. You got to be able to order a Greg's sausage roll by yourself. Or financially, we're rich also. That's, that's cool. We like being rich. That works. Here are the star graduates. Oh, we had the, we had the one. Ooh, we just got TV money for the Champions League. Little $5 million check just because. English Premier Division Young Player of the Month. Our goalkeeper, Casper Gongsted, allowed zero goals this month. I still didn't win coach of the month, though. That's cool. I didn't really care. I don't really care about accolades. Just care about trophies. That's what we're going for this year. Trophies. You understand? I realize who we're playing as, but I need you to realize where I'm coming from. We're going for trophies. He's got a day. Yeah, honestly, dude, it's been a year and a half. I feel like in Duolingo, you could have put together more than basic English at this point. If you were really like, you know, let's say your job depended on it. Not saying it does, but you do play in England. Probably something you should be paying attention to just a little bit. But with that penalty shootout, that's actually where we're going to leave it today. But as always, I am super happy that we're able to stream while I'm, I'm home hanging out with the fam as well. Uh, and I'm sorry for the late start time today. Obviously, uh, a lot of the fam was leaving, kind of wanted to spend some time with them. Um, but, you know, now it's, it's just going to be like more nuclear. You know, we're getting more into the swing of the week. So uh, we are going to raid somebody. Stick around for that. But thank you guys for the great vibes today. Thank you, any, everybody that subscribed. Uh, today, every every single sub makes a huge difference. Boggs really appreciates it. Hundred percent guaranteed to create a giant boost in endorphins, right there. Uh, oh, yo, F and G just got on. Let's go. Uh, let's go raid F and G. Let's have a good time. Do, 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 do. But we are going to head off today. Love you guys. Fist bump. I'll be back on tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I will be more on time. So my apologies again for not being on time today, but I really, really do appreciate it. I'm super glad we won that penalty shootout. And I need to get a fan in here because I am, your boy is sweating. I am hot. I mean, I know I'm hot. I mean, come on. Yeah, it's me. But I like, I'm a sweat boy. We're in the we're in the weeds. I don't know how Boggs is doing, but I'm I'm it's getting tough in here. Check out the Zealandisms too every single day, and there should be a new video on the main Zealand channel tomorrow as well. Uh, depending on how everything's come together. But I appreciate you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one, everybody. We won every match we played today. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, bye, Boggs. <laughs> Get your copy pasta. All righty. Word of the day is thinking. Oh, shambles. Shambles. Me right now dealing with the heat in this room. S H A M B L E S. Shambles refers to a place or state in which there is great confusion, disorder, or destruction. 
The house party they had over the weekend left the entire living room in shambles. Good word. Definitely a good word. I, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, where's the button over here? Ah, there it is.